today, magic strikes again. Mm. Do you smell that, Ela? I do. What is it? What does that smell? It is smells it? like love. It smells and like romance. Love, romance. Bright future. Perfume. I want to smell feet. Not meadows. <laughs> no feet. No feet. It smells like feet. No, no. Hmm. Well, funky actually. No, the, the the people I'm thinking about have no feet. They they don't need them to walk. They just fly. They're angels. They fly. They fly. Mm. Uh, yes, of course. We are talking about the long-awaited second date of our uh, world-acclaimed Bat Batch Thriller series. <laughs> we have what can only be described as the most proven track record in reality TV. Two out of two long-term uh, relationships, mm -hmm. and we're looking for love mm -hmm. for Jeff Wittick, the most eligible bachelor alive today. And uh, today we have his second date filmed and recorded. Ooh. Thank you to uh, the good hustle of Ian and his team. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sam, Pam. <laughs> <coughs> um, very exciting. So, and then of course, we'll be joined in studio by the lovely Megan. Mm. <laughs> and not to damp, not to put it to damper on, um, on Megan's special day, but it is worth saying mm -hmm. that Faritza has landed mm. and their date is tomorrow morning. Wow. Yeah. So that'll be on Monday. We'll be having a uh, Faritza in for the final date. And then from there, it's just about handing out polls. Ducky, don't do it. No. By the way, this Tuesday, his balls are being chopped off. <laughs> it's brought to you by Shopify, who I love. I love Shopify. And you do, you will too. Um, Ducky, you rascal. <laughs> He's, I feel like he's, he is potty trained. He totally gets it. He's just. He really gets it, but he started doing this thing where he just spot. will lift his yeah. leg and mark his territory <laughs> real quick. Like yeah. a drop or two. Yeah, just a drop will do you. He's like, what? It's just one drop. Oh, it's just one drop. Like crazy. For, for flavor and smell. We're also joined today. Um, <sighs> have you ever heard of a griffin? A griffin? Like the myth, the mythical. Oh. Well. We have something like that um, flown in from all the way from Sweden, mm -hmm. known as the Hawk. Yes! Woo! <laughs> He's back. <laughs> He's back in the studio. Yes. The sounds of freedom are ringing through the air. <laughs> Love, how nice is it to have your, your good dad back in town? It's great. I love that he can come here. It's cool because he can just pay for the flight and he gets to stay for free. He yeah. can come super often. What a good very deal. Cool. That's a good deal, right, Hawk? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all inclusive. It's very nice. Nice. And where's he got you sleeping, Hawk? On the couch or something? No, actually, he, he upgraded me. Oh. This time, yeah. Go on, what does that mean? Uh, inflatable mattress. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Brand new. Yeah. Taking care of your dad. Huh? It's a fancy one, too, dude. Yeah. It's like a queen almost dude it's a I, big I boy i can't say i've ever had a good night on an inflatable mattress Me too. however that, i don't know if i've never used a good one right yeah it was actually quite nice okay what fantastic i, I never woke up okay. oh that's tremendous yeah. love what a great son he is nice. of course yeah look I at have... these two man fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> very cool <laughs> oh love you also authorized me to mention no 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought no. you did though. Yeah. I don't have to. Nope. We can, yeah. You can do it. Yeah. I can do yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Okay. Yeah. Just I was just gonna mention, without going into greater detail, that love has a girlfriend. Oh. I do. And I was I'm leveling up. He, what? I'm leveling up, dude. He's leveled the fuck up. Oh. Yeah. I and got a Hoff, house, I, girlfriend. Love is growing that. up. And ha don't and Hoff, you had the pleasure of meeting her, I assume. And yeah, I met her. Yeah. yeah she she's approved. She's, nice. she's yeah. Hawk approved. Yeah. She is very lovely. I, I, I've met her as well. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Wow. What exciting times. Your boy is growing up. Right? Yeah, yeah. Growing up. How do yeah. we feel about that? Yeah, I, well, it's it's the way of life. It is. The, isn't it? Can we stop it? Because I have boys and I'm just wondering, can we stop it? <laughs> stop it what? Can we just push them back? 
into time. <laughs> no, so that we can no. Capture the moment. You have to, you have to spread its wings <laughs> and soar. And grow into a hawk. You know? <laughs> you're a fledgling, uh, <laughs> love, and you're I know. time to fly. <laughs> Dude, I, f I literally. <laughs> The reason I said level up because I do feel like I'm in a video game. I'm just doing like side quests. <laughs> I'm leveling up. I'm doing. I'm doing all these things, dude. Super cool. We You're love. You're learning that. new skills like cooking. Yeah, I'm. I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm. I'm like. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> life's yeah. good, dude. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. You know what could be fun? We had a. We did a, a segment where we had love try vegetables. Right. Hawk, would you be willing to try vegetables? Are you <laughs> set in your ways? Uh, I'm a grown-up. I can do whatever I want. Right, you I don't, don't need to. You don't. I, do, I use ketchup, <laughs> sort of vegetable, right? Oh my God. Oh, um, that is what Ronald Reagan did make that yeah, that mean, argument. It's a law here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you do consume. You yeah, I mean, ketchup. mean, uh, your mm. your taste buds um, deteriorate when you get older. Oh, hi, so, Ducky. So I can eat some vegetables now. Oh, so it's yeah. become more palatable. Too. Yeah. That's nice. That's a benefit of growing older. Can we cut to our first guest today? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. He, uh... <laughs> he was sitting on the couch, like, yeah. ready to talk. And uh, speaking of love, our <laughs> to-go bag is ready to go. Because there's nothing more lovely than sun, a sunny day, and our son, <laughs> Sunny, who's oh going to be uh, forthcoming any day. Do you want to show off your profile? Yeah. It's getting, it's crazy. It is not, I don't. There he is. There he is. He's right in there. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. It, it, our to-go bag is ready. It is yeah. in our car. To-go bag? It's ready. Yeah, our to-go bag. Is that what they call it? This time. What? Is that what they call it? A to-go bag? A go yeah, bag. I think right. that's what people call it. Because <laughs> it just sounds like it's like Food. takeout. Oh, I see. Well, it is kind of. This time I put everything in there, like uh, no last minute stuff needed. We have phone chargers, I bought extra. We're good at this now. We have toothbrush, deodorant. I brought my video game stuff. I put your video game in there. And yeah, I, the baby I learned all there. the lessons. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> One more time. And then we're wrapping it up. I have been so uncomfortable. It's a wrap. I feel, I feel like I'm just in survival mode just to make it through this next two weeks because I am are you, suffering. Are you hope, hoping it happens like sooner? No, because I have work to finish before. Oh, shit. I have, Against I have the things clock. to do. <laughs> I was yeah. wondering, I was thinking too, like, what if you go into labor during... During this? Because Varitza's in from Australia. That'd be, that'd be so, like... Uh, I feel so bad for her. Oh, like we're if we're like, so, dude, I can't do the show anymore. <laughs> right. See, I'd we have, have to, I, to finish. I, I'm telling him, on. like, Chill, listen bro. to my calendar, please. Chill. I have a calendar, Sunny, and um, let's team work on this. So, um, oh, I I understand that Hawk brought um some treats. Really? That's what Love said. Yeah, yeah, I brought um, a bag of it. You want to bust it out? Yeah. I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's not just tree. It's all, all kinds of things. Really? He didn't, he didn't want to show me it. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, it's a mystery. Yeah, it's like a mystery <laughs> box. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we have a big... Oh it's not Ikea, but it has Ikea colors. Is yeah, it's kind of like city. a Swedish grocery store. City gross. Ew. Yeah, gross. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> so, it's, should I dig in? It's... it's Candy and then optional gifts. He says it's candy <laughs> and optional for, uh, gifts. What is you, this? Oh. Every Swede has one in his car. Really? You can come back. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Wait, it's, it's like uh, it's like this thing. Uh, what do you call it? Reflect. What do you call it? Luba. Reflect. A reflector? Reflective. Oh, is, is it, it, you wear it yeah. like that? If you have so to you repair your car or something yeah, at night? Down, oh, wait, down. that's good. Oh. So, uh, Save uh, AB, you might need this more than anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> team can uh, join in. That's let's very... See. Oh, we got candy. Fizzy pop. Let's hit, let's try that real fast. I've never had this. That's sort of sour. I, I went for more... <laughs> uh, wait, what is this? Natural flavors. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wait, I see something crazy. It is fizzy. It's fizzy. What is this? I don't know. Stitch on patch with Lego? That, that's for you. Yeah. Probably. Lego? Oh, my kids will love that. Yeah, the, there yeah. might be competition here on that one. Daddy's going to want that one. <laughs> yeah, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Zach came running up. This one is for you. Special person. 
Nice. It's you almost like a, a compliment, your, uh, but almost not. Here. Oh, you're coming for the mic. I okay. thought you were coming to snatch it. <laughs> Zach was running to snatch the leg glove. <laughs> now I got in something. Look yeah, at me. Zach has his okay, own gift. Theodore is going to freak out. I'm yeah. taking this one. Yeah. Eli, do you see this? <laughs> what does it does that say special person? Sure does. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think he is. <laughs> How did you know? Sort of special, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my god, there's a lot here. Pete, yeah. you calm down? Holy shit. We got the um, chocolate. The chocolate. Oh, the popcorn. I yeah. Love the this. salted. The Swedish Maribo Mandelar. Is that, is that legendary the chocolate. almond? Mandelar? Yeah. Okay. It, I thought that was a typical Swedish thing. You have I, those here? I've never seen it like this from like hard plastic. Yeah. Mm. Because <laughs> You thought Swedes were the only one with bibs? With, uh, with this one. With a little, so just, a little feedback, we yeah, have feedback. Yeah, then. Yeah, we yeah. Do. But, but I've never nice. seen it like this. Yeah. That's interesting. I like how it's like spiked. It's almost like yeah. It's like you're not fucking. Life ain't easy. Like no, no. no, we're not past California like the... regulations. You think? <laughs> Swedish coffee. Oh, Ooh. we should get some. Of, uh, can we do some of this, Lena? Just hot water. Yes, of course. <laughs> wonderful hawk. Wow, what a, what a how wonderful. How do you do your coffee? Is it like um, you do you need to grind it? Yeah, th this is instant coffee. Instant. instant coffee. Yeah, this is instant. Uh, how do you Perfect. how do you recommend I, I drink this? Uh, one cup hot water, and I would take uh, three spoons. Three. Three spoons and but, cream or sugar or straight. Yeah, the three spoons of the powder, but I think you should take two. Okay, mm. ease up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think I'm weak? <laughs> yep. And but with cream and <laughs> sugar or no? Yeah, yeah. To you, my preference. Probably Whatever cream and sugar. Yeah. And marshmallows. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's let's give that a shot. Uh, Swedish uh, mustard. <laughs> yeah, you don't have them here, do you? We have it in Israel. Chip, what is this? Yeah. Chip bag right. clips? <laughs> it's bag locks. It's just like clips. Again, for bags. <laughs> I don't know what you think of America. I think you're. We have I mean, th clips. this is like a third world, isn't it? As, no, yeah, that is kind of true. That you those think so. do not exist. Those are hard to find. I have these in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, they. I can it only get them from. It might be because of me because we have it in Israel. Right. But, yeah. but I'll be honest. Of all the chip clips I have, these. This style is my least favorite. What? <laughs> well, that's yeah, not the best. No, there's better no, yeah. the ones with the hooks are far superior. No, they what don't do seal hooks? it properly. In my opinion. <laughs> these are big, though. They're long. I like that they're yeah. big. Thank you. Yeah. That's how we like it in Sweden. Well, we'll hand these out. Uh, everybody can partake. <laughs> this is... Oh. Strong mustard. Oh, it's mustard. Yeah, strong mustard. Ooh, can I get it? I'm going to sniff of that. Good mustard. I like mustard. Can yeah. we get some dogs? I love some That doesn't mustard. look like a mustard, you know, from the outside. Oh, no, it doesn't at all. Also very spicy. Um, oh, dip mix. You yep. love these, oh, Ethan. Shit. Well, yeah, that's mustard. Oh. So yeah. what do we do? We do dogs, sausages, yeah. sandwiches. Ham. Um, and why is it in like a little, it's like in a tiny paint. Bucket. It's uh, it's strong. <laughs> you don't need much. You, you, you could paint your dollhouse with it. Yeah. <laughs> you wrote uh, so many things. Dip mix. Yeah. yeah, yeah dip I mean, mix is my yeah. man. Those are <laughs> fucking holiday shit. mix. Yeah. <laughs> Tortilla. Loves. Uh, what is ranch? Uh, favorite sauce. Yeah, that's my oh. shit right there. This Bernays. is the uh, oh Bernays. Uh, Bernays. I've heard yep. love. Yep. Uh, yeah. Huh? Very good. Never had that. Look at us. <laughs> Try the pop fizz, Ela. Yeah, more okay. candy. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's, let's. Here, I gotta try all these. You try all of these because. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, these are good. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay. Save some candy for the children of Sweden. Oh, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> my dad's a prof uh, professional uh, food or uh, snack. Uh, what's yeah. he called? Like a connoisseur? This is smuggler. so nice. Smuggler. Smuggler's board. Yeah. yeah. He smuggles and, uh, snacks. This time I, 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 uh, I didn't take in as many of these uh, sours. <laughs> Kryptoniter. On Swedish stuff. What, Alex? You think I have... like... That's uh, your Lingonsilt. <laughs> the most Swedish uh, jam ever. It's very liquidy. Mm. You see that? It's a lingonberry. And yeah. It's like chunky. And, and, and it, it's not actually jam. It's just the berries and sugar. Ah, so what do you do so with it's it? Like, uh, uh, it's like berry We have chunks? it on pancakes. Oh, it's like a and, syrup. And uh, it's sort of like... <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> Why do you put your finger in there? Hmm. It's like cranberry. Cranberries. That's oh. it. It's It's cranberry. No, it's lingon. Oh, okay. Lingon berries. And another another Lego? Are you at this is unbelievable. 
Yeah, it's our yeah. kids are gonna rejoice tonight. Yeah. Super Mario Lego. What a treat. What a treasure. <laughs> uh, wow, thank you wow, so much. Thank you. <laughs> Should I try what do you recommend I try right now? Uh, your, your oh you favorite? like the polys. Those one you tried. Oh, these you ones like, love this those one muffins. is just sugar. Like Have you had this? This looks crazy. Those are the salty ones. You That's don't like it. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> these are so good, the polish. Yeah. Yes. Um well, yeah. I wanted to ask you a question, Hop. Hmm. Are you um what's the word? Um Nice. Not, not castrated, but what? Oh god. What? Circumcised? What are you talking about? Um not no, not circumcised. I wouldn't ask you to do that. <laughs> I was gonna ask, um, God, why can't I remember it now? What's the procedure when? Are you able to have children still? Oh. Vasectomy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Vasectomy. Just curious. What? Just curious if you were still open for business, right? <laughs> why? I mean, uh, it's not like you and I can. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, that's not an invitation. <laughs> well, because I'm about to have my third, and we were thinking it might be time to. I don't, I don't know oh, what you're too. suggesting, but no. Ethan is going to do <laughs> that on. procedure. Why could somebody tell me it is? Vasectomy. Vasectomy. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. hell. Okay. Are you, we, we are you, no, wh no, why? No, you no. didn't do it. Just curious, because you had one child. I was just wondering if you were closing up shop or if you were still open to <laughs> having to say, no, to come uh, Kaminter to have. It just doesn't embarrass me. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm not allowed. He is. To <laughs> continue on this subject. <laughs> Very good. He's out. Yep. I'm trying to embarrass you because, frankly, oh you God. think you're so good at it. I can tell you think you're so good at it. But like here you are dodging what? questions. Good at what? Embarrassing. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is good at that. Yeah. yeah. He's really yeah. good at it. Have you ever wondered if he was. Um, I mean, why can't, come on, dude. The ultimate load. Wait, if he was. He had a bisectomy. No, if I, I was new to You never wondered? What? No. Is it that's something you're gonna I, 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 discuss I with your like children when they grow up? Let's talk. I think my, da I think my yeah. dad is. I think I know that about him. <laughs> I mean, come on. Smash that button. Okay. Anything else? Oh, did you try the fizzy pop? I wasn't sure if I liked that one. Mm. You gotta yeah, see what the hot brought have me. To, uh, yeah, but that's for personal use. Sorry. What did you get used, Zach? Big old bag of snooze, baby. Oh! <laughs> oh <my God>. the, <laughs> holy <laughs> smoke! Wow. And uh, for legal reason, those are all mine. Yeah, they're all his. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a, he is over eighteen. <laughs> no, those, you're not. Those, you're not allowed those, to smuggle them. Those are brought here for personal use. Yeah. God. I it. just put them there yeah. for safekeeping. The uh, yeah. the D the, fi the firearms, drug, and alcohol administration is watching, or the, yep. whatever you call them. Well, this is such a nice present. I, yeah. I pre it's yeah. always and, nice. And, <clears throat> Before you lick and put your finger in everything, yeah, it was for the whole team. Well, good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I know he, what that he, means. He tends to you do. You sure? That. You put it on my desk. <laughs> if they want it, come get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. It's very nice. Yeah. Of How course. Back. Of course. No problem. <laughs> Actually, please come get it. Yeah, you guys want to make sure. Oh, that one's salty. That you like the salty stuff? It's oh, yeah, those are pretty salty. I think that's licorice, too. It says Salt. it says it's cola. Salty cola. Hey, come get it. Yeah, that's like the kryptonite. Kryptonite. -er. <laughs> the Swedes, they love salt. Yeah, we love salt. Zoom Stroman, salty. Candy yeah, salty. Mm -hmm. You love salt. Everything I love salt. salt, but not, you know what I mean? Not in my... I like to separate when possible. I like savory and sweet. But, uh, have you tried these ones? Sorry, we gotta get, we gotta get focused, but have you tried the... This was my favorite one from last time. Did you try this? The poly? I did. The polyamory? But my favorite is the chocolates. Eating this is going to put me in a polyamorous relationship with these chocolates. Yeah. Favorite call. <laughs> you know, that is such a weird question to ask a person. I thought it would be nice, and I thought it would throw them off a little bit. Okay. You know, I mean, of all the questions you expect to be asked, <laughs> have you had a vasectomy? <laughs> But the the option is open for a younger brother love. <laughs> love the option is open for a for a younger brother. Yes, 
Technically speaking, literally speaking, yes. Literally. Right. Yes. Right. Technically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest is up to uh, Hawk. Literally. <laughs> literally. I'm not giving him the mic. The mom. Hey, Lena, can I get the coffee in my unique person, special person <laughs> mug? <laughs> <laughs> I need. I need yeah. to. Um... We need that after that question. Hey, listen. I had to know. <laughs> I care about him. I'm, we need more of him. All right. Where were we? <laughs> so we've got... Uh... Uh, well, our, um, our guests for today are present. They're here? Uh, we've been going for about 20 minutes. So if All you'd right. like, you could do the ad read and then <coughs> kick off the bash. So before we we launch off, there's one thing I want to you quickly. You want this bag of goodies? You want to pass it around? Yeah. Please, uh, sure. Please. Um, there was one. Grab that from the. The popcorn chocolate. Mm. Oh shit! And it's got corn nuts in it. Corn nuts? Yeah, dude. What? Sheesh. Let me hit that. You know what I'm talking about, love? Yeah. Wait. Here, try it. You can take these nuts. Here, take this, take this, take this, too. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Crunchy. That's good. I like crunchy chocolate. Uh, one thing I wanted to show everyone before we get underway, it is important. Um. Mmm. That is so good. This is a new soundbite. <laughs> Zach, I hope you pulled this already. So here is um, just a new chiropractor video that really um, struck me as phenomenal. 40 years of back pain. Oh, sounds like my life. Does this man have blue hair? Bro, if my chiropr if my doctor shows up with blue hair, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, it's such a joke profession. He's got blue hair. Nothing wrong with blue hair, but my doctor's got Doc blue hair? That's your problem. My doctor can have blue hair. Is it blue? Fuck no. I'm seeing gray. I think that's a red flag. Okay, maybe it's gray. He looks like a, a grown-up Phidias. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. Okay, let's get Phidias out here to crack your back. <laughs> sure. I think you raised a good point. He's got blue hair, my dudes. Yeah, that's gray. I'm, that's I'm, blue. Bro, what are you saying? Maybe it's the literally monitor. blue. That is 100% great. Maybe the monitor it must be our looks... Yeah, come, come, it's probably just on the monitor. Come look at this. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I see blue too. Speech. This it's man has blue, blue hair. That's, I think I'm, it's a dyed gray. That's go ahead, look. Yeah, some old people like have blue and purple in their undertones of their gray dye. No, this man has you blue. This has ninja hair. Oh! Look at how blue it is. Oh, he's even soy facing. <laughs> this is grown up videos. Yeah, this is a doctor. He's got blue hair and soy facing because his patient got cracked so hard. <laughs> Well, Look at him. Doctor. Yeah. He's a fucking chiropractor. Look at this. These people are such quacks. They do always look surprised with their work. Yeah. That's They're not like, good. Oh, I didn't, we want I didn't we know. want predictable results. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does look more blue on your screen. Uh, okay. uh, it's hard to tell. But it looks so blue here. But anyway, without analyzing, let's just listen. Wait, you know what? There's a blue tint on everything. Because when it went down <laughs> to that guy. They're just all, they all have blue hair. Um, Everybody in this town. Dude, the pan, <laughs> yeah. pan down to that guy just lay, laying there. It's so funny. Yeah. Let's just enjoy the sound of okay. 40 years of back pain being um, condensed into one second of enjoyment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got your side. Lightly. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he doesn't have blue hair. He has gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't make it better, frankly. So there it is. Uh, oh, this. So we got the hawk. The hawk fee. <laughs> That's the sound of healing. That's the sound of th the culmination of thousands of years of medical practice. Poor Lorraine. Who got it worse? I think Lorraine got it worse still. Even no, no, no. The the, the worst is uh, this one. 
<laughs> right, I forgot. And then you also oh got uh, this one. <laughs> and these Jesus. are so good. You know, people have made fun of me for my obsession with chiropractor videos, but hearing the sound bites, yeah. you yeah. realize it's a good investment to it, watch it. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking great, man. Is that like, is, uh, like a Dark Souls boss transforming, <laughs> transforming to phase two? Hey, right. Hey, let me like, pitch it down. <laughs> <laughs> He's mutating. Can you do me a favor, Zach? Play all of them at the same time. Oh God. Uh... Actually, you know what would be, you know what could be interesting, <laughs> if you line up the crack, so that they're they... all reacting. Oh. Yeah, they all In react unison. together. Yeah. <laughs> I could. <laughs> a symphony of. Crap. It might take you. You probably need to go into the audio program and. Yeah. Cut so, at which point is this good for your doctor to be doing? Oh my god! Did you guys Never. hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's so. crazy. Oh like, mm, it's very nice. The coffee. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm glad. Oh my god. So that was important. Mm -hmm. also, also, just checking back in on uh, Austin McBroom quickly. He also is doing chiropractor content. He is really um, embracing his silly self. I don't know. <gasps> Ow! This is the kind of shit I'm into. Look what they got him hooked up on. One of these Russian torture devices. I love it, man. Uh, genuinely, uh, he might be making the best content he ever has. Career, yeah. Yeah. I agree. He's like, I got no kids, I got no wife. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. go do weird shit all day. Nice. Um, that's all right. it. Alright, so let's go ahead and thank our sponsor. Thank you, Liam. <laughs> it's a, a delightful flavors of, uh, yeah. thank you. All different flavors. Cheers. My dude. Cheers. Love you. You like the coffee? Cheers. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, excellent. Yeah. I like, I kind of like um, the instant coffee because it's so reliable. <laughs> For some reason, whenever I make coffee in a machine, maybe people are going to think I'm crazy. Or, I mean, I know you feel the same way. Some days it's good, some days it's not. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. The, yeah, I don't know because you got to measure. Stuff. You but you I measure it the same. You go scoop one yeah. scoop, two scoop, three scoop, yeah. and then it tastes like shit. Who the hell knows? But um, in these I grew up on instant days. coffee. That's what everybody drinks in Israel. <laughs> oh, that was another thing. Jordan Peterson had this um, debate. I guess you might call. It a, I don't know if it's a debate. Not I think it, they, Anyway, he had a debate with Destiny, and he has some of his most unhinged, <laughs> on-screen moments I've ever seen. I mean, they're just <laughs> phenomenal. Um, let me just show one. Let me just show one, cause I. We, well, are, we are they long? Talk about it today. All right. There's one on the subreddit. Let me pull that one up. I'll explain it's, it's, it here because the, the leftists should have been the ones that were most skeptical about the bloody pharmaceutical companies, it's and they jumped long. on the vaccine bandwagon <laughs> in exactly the same way that you're doing right pharmaceutical now. Pharmaceutical companies have helped us tremendously. Yeah. Throughout the right. There we go. Fine. <laughs> no. Think modern I don't medicine think hasn't. So. No, I don't think that so. You're just wrong. This man just said modern medicine has not helped us. Mm. <laughs> awesome. That yeah, I guess Maybe. that explains why he went to Russia to detox <laughs> I mean, from we, being a benzo addict. Wait, wait Jordan decline. I'm pretty sure he did bloodletting or something in Russia. Surely, <laughs> I see. So you don't think that the pharmaceutical companies who dominate the advertising landscape with 75% of the funding are corrupt? I don't. Corrupt is a corrupt. very broad. No, 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 it, no, no. It's. Do you think that? Do you think that pharmacy, corrupt do you think with they, a tinge of malevolence? Do you think willing that, to extract money out of people by putting their health on the line? Do you, you don't think believe that, we, that? Do you think that we get effective is this as crazy as jacket companies? yet? I hate the jacket. I he is it. This fashion. might be the craziest. Like, what the fuck is he wearing? It, it's bananas. I don't know if it's crazier than Two Face, though. Dude, I, I, I love that fucking jacket. I don't know what y'all smoke. I <laughs> feel like, <laughs> bro, listen, if you, you wore it, Court. Zach, if you wore it, I would love it because mm -hmm. it's how you wear it and what you wear with it. Right. Now we're looking at a. S a therapist or a dark intellectual dark web. We're looking at an intellectual, 
and he's wearing it with jeans and like a button up. It just does not work. I hate it. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. The vibes are terrible. That jacket's needs... being worn with an ugly personality. It's being worn with malevolence. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, there we go. Fine. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> Okay. Wait, I gotta go back. <laughs> so insane. What did he ask him? Health on the line. Do you, you don't believe that, we, that? Do you think that we get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies? Not particularly. <laughs> How can you God, say that? What the hell? How the fuck? I mean, again, this man eats raw meat to fix whatever, you know, so. <laughs> I guess he's living. Why is he trying to be so angry? It almost looks like performative, like he's. I think he's. I think he's really. Um, Emotionally unstable. Frankly. Yeah. Right there we go. <laughs> I Fine. think he flies off. I think he's not well. <laughs> no. Yeah. Definitely not. A coma did a number on him. Well, not this uh, interview is over two hours. I got like an hour and twenty <sighs> minutes in before the show, and it was calm up to that point. So I mm. wonder what was the turning point. Oh, oh. really? Mm. Interesting. What was your thoughts off. on the uh, hour okay. twenty? Is it worth watching? I didn't. I didn't watch it. The whole thing. Okay. I didn't watch any of it. The beginning was whatever. It was the same shit. They are kind of just introducing each other and basic takes. But yeah, maybe the second half is a lot juicier. Mm. Yeah. Do you, so do you think that any vaccines work? Yes. Do you think that any? <laughs> I don't think eighty of them work. Oh my. At God. once for babies. I, I think that's a little risky. But, but yes. Based on what? I'm sorry, but like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, why? Do and you stop think that? yelling at me. Yeah. Literally you billions of that. children, millions of children every year are getting multiple shots when they're born. <laughs> Not, it's absolutely dangerous. Right, I mean, there we go. Fine. I, I would assume that everyone in this room, as a child, got a sh like tons of vaccines. I remember. Uh, getting a shit yeah, like we're, everybody did and That's we're giving standard, it to right? our children right now as parents too. yeah right yeah yeah of course yeah, and, uh, and our dogs get vaccine listen <laughs> if if you're ever if you're in the vaccine position hurt. when you're in the hospital and you have a newborn baby and you're in the position where you're like listen the doctor's like here's what we recommend all this 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 and you're like listen doc do your thing baby <laughs> i don't I trust my you research. i don't trust you <laughs> the doctor who just delivered your baby uh, and kept your kept you alive at once for babies. We've been on this vaccine schedule for how many decades? Like and babies this, don't... like this, He's talking about not autism, like this, not carefully. I had a ton of not vaccines like when I was a child. I'm pretty sure that was the norm for people. There were a ton right, of vaccines. There you go. Yeah, Way yeah, more now. Exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wow. Uh, he was, he kind of battered Destiny into submission. <laughs> it's just like, okay, whatever. There's lots Can of Daily Wire it? news. Because um, the left is... Uh, Candy, Candy, my f favorite, she got ousted from the Daily Wire for being a psychotic, anti-Semitic, neo-Nazi uh, conspiracy theorist. I want you to give me a job. That's okay. what I, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, All right, we gotta, uh, we gotta get uh, on with this. Ethan. You're in a position to evaluate the scientific credibility of the trials for the vaccines. Why is it so small? No, I don't. So I have to trust. Then what are you what doing? I, have to do, what I, have, I don't trust. I have them. to I trust the blood data. To, you have, first of all, so you small. have to trust third parties to some extent. When you go outside, I don't have to trust. Of course third. you do. You do every day. <laughs> when you turn the keys in your car, you hope your engine doesn't explode. When you're drinking water, you hope that the public water or whatever tap or bottle water you got it out of isn't contaminated or poisoned with cholera. I don't when do you that go, as a consequence of consensus. No, you, you of course. Of course you do. No, I don't. I do that as a consequence of observing multiple times that when I put the goddamn key in the ignition, the truck started. Why do you know it's going to start the 50th or the 100th time? Why do you, how don't many times do you wear the... with me. You I'm know not perfectly playing well you. Why. You don't know if the denim in those jeans isn't leaking into your bloodstream. To some extent, we trust, we have to trust third-party institutions Except to make determination. Except when they use force. <laughs> how about that? Especially when they use force. We trust the police officers. We trust the we judicial do. systems. We do. We, we do. We on the left trust the police. Do to we? some extent, do we? If somebody's <laughs> breaking into your house, who do you call? Them. I'm, not, I'm not a defunder, but if somebody's breaking into your house, you can be the most defund person in the world. Who are you going to call? Are you going to call your neighbor? Are you going to call Joe Biden? Are you going to call Obama? Are you going to call the Black Panthers? You're going to call the okay, cops. So, <laughs> so tell me this. Done. Yeah. So riddle me this, Batman. <laughs> You're in a position to evaluate the scientific credibility of the trials for the vaccines, do you? No, really? I don't. Oh, that's it. Then what are you doing? Do? Okay, there it is. What? It's so small. All right, let's oh, thank our God. sponsor, and then we'll get into uh, enough with the combativeness and more with the loving. Yeah, that was fun, though. Yeah, I hope there's more than just those two parts. I watched the rest of it. Uh, yeah.
This was highly anticipated. I guess it was shot a while ago, but they just put it out. I mean, you know, I, I have a love affair with Jordan Peterson soundbite, so <laughs> anything to add. <laughs> uh, thank you to Shopify, by the way, yes. who I adore. If you are in the business of doing this, mm. being online, doing e-commerce, big or small, you're going to want to get partnered up with Shopify. Any other partner, for this matter, will be a disaster, a shame, <laughs> and the biggest mistake of your professional life. In our opinion. No, that's a fact. <laughs> that is a stated fact, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, but for real, we started Teddy Fresh day one with Shopify. Yes. We asked some of our tr uh, friends who we trusted who are very knowledgeable in tech. I did research online as well. And they said Shopify is the best one. Yeah. And what's interesting, that was what, like seven years ago now? And yeah. That was the best thing we did in our business because me and Ela don't know anything about e-commerce. We don't know anything about programming. And from the first day, we had a fully functional, super well supported and run. Never looked back. Seamless experience for our customers. Yeah. And what's so nice is from, you know, the ground floor day one, they make it, so, they give you all the tools you need to grow the business mm -hmm. into, um, you know, a bigger and bigger operation. They have all these uh, tremendous third-party plugins. They have um, a, a community of programmers that specialize in, in Shopify. Yeah, Shopify experts. Yeah, and the, the third-party stuff is great because there's like huge companies that operate only as third-party people. And there's, so you, you know exactly what you're getting. And then when you install like an app or a third-party customization theme, whatever, it's immediate. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was very easy. Never had a problem. I mean, it yeah. really is the future of e-commerce. And it's they even have apps for stuff like taxes, you know? Oh yeah, really good ones. Yeah. So. They, like you're silly if you don't use like aloe vera. Aloe vera. <laughs> Al aloe vera oil. So it really is from the smallest business to the biggest, just the best platform I could think of, honestly. Let me, let me just give an example. Like when we started our, our store, we didn't realize that people were doing massive frauding on us for like a year. Yeah. And because there's apparently a lot of like credit card um, fraud that people they steal cards and then yeah. they find a website that will not reject them. Mm -hmm. And and they run it until they get caught. I yeah. Guess. I don't know. There's different risk settings in Shopify, but like we didn't know anything. So once we realized this was a problem, we, we go to the app store and we found a, a high rated um, fraud alert, fraud, fraud filter part thing. It's like five dollars a month and it basically completely eliminated the problem. Right. So this is the kind of super useful things. You just one click of the mouse and pop is in the house. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Oh, I love them so much, you guys. They power fight 10% wow. of all the e-commerce in the United States. Wow. Allbirds, wow. Rothy's, crazy. and Brook Linen. <laughs> How about Teddy Fresh? <laughs> also, they have these really great POS systems. So if you set up like at a swap meet or in person, mm -hmm. you can sell using their point of sale systems. So people can buy with credit cards and it directly connected to your inventory yep. on the website. It's phenomenal. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash after dark. That's all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash after dark. Now, to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in, shopify.com slash after dark. Thank you. Thank you to our wonderful sponsor, Shopify. Yes, we love them. Woo! Come on now. Let's do it up. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, oh boy, I'm excited. Can I answer this one question? Sure. Ela, what makeup are you wearing? Please, yeah. I know you're excited about all that. <laughs> I'm wearing, again, our samples. I did it all myself today. And I'm so excited. Tell us about it. I used um, our eyeshadows, and black and gold, and one other trick that I don't want to reveal yet. And then... Um, you got secret tricks? One product is, I really love it. I think it doesn't exist. Um, but yeah. This is new. This one product that I came up with. Whisper in my ear. Ooh, no <laughs> way. And um, I used our blush and our lip products today too. Yeah, it looks great. 
Thank you. That's exciting. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> for you. Oh. <laughs> the glitter on her eyes is so fine and beautiful. I was looking with like a flashlight before we started. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I totally, when, when I walked in, she said this is her favorite look of mine, mm -hmm. of makeup. And I told her that is everything I would want to oh. hear. Yeah, okay, good. And Olivia's is, approval true. is everything. Have you given her a sample so she can Not yet, get her now hand? I will. Now, yeah, now I'm yeah. ready. Because I, yeah. I think your yeah. feedback is, would be valuable. So yeah. Or if anyone else, any other, uh, Lena yeah, or Yeah, definitely, or Sam and Lena. Yeah. yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> and is it called Ela's, um, I believe the makeup is called Ela's Shmila. <laughs> no. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Ela's funny, silly, goofy makeup things. All right, thank you. Let's go ahead and roll. So we have here the date with the lovely Megan. We have filmed it. It was on last night. We are going to run the video and we'll come in with Jeff and Megan. They went to a pottery class. What a beautiful romantic <laughs> date that is. I mean, building, touching, feeling. So without further ado, let us... Join in on the date of these two magic people. I'm nervous, man. She's hot. She's hot. She's so sweet and I'm excited and nervous. I'm feeling great. He's so sweet and so cute. I also brought this name tag <laughs> so he doesn't forget my name again. <laughs> Have you done pottery before? No, I forgot we we're even doing that, but I'm actually, I'm happy that there's something to distract me from every other thought that's going on in my head. How did sure. it feel the last minute comeback swap back into the game? <laughs> Honestly, I, when I watched the ending of that episode, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, oh my God, wait, he's getting us confused. I don't know what to do. Like, do I say something? But obviously like, I was like, whatever, it is what it is. Um, Gabby's really cool too. If he meant to actually make that choice, I didn't want to change his mind or do anything that would affect the way that the show was going because it's not my place to. But I'm really happy that Sam emailed me and let me know that they wanted me back. So I'm really excited. I um, actually just ran a marathon. I'm exhausted. I was going to pull out of this, but I didn't want to do that on our first date. This one just felt like I would be scolded with like a long text message that, you know, she would probably type up real fast with her, her you know, you know, how she does 200 words a minute. She would just write like a whole mean message to me saying that, you know, you're an asshole. I can't believe you stood me up on our first date. Fuck this show. Fuck H3 podcast and all that. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm um, sticking it out. I'm here and I'm happy. I feel really comfortable around him which I was really nervous I didn't know how like the vibes are gonna be um, but he's really easy to talk to and he's really genuine and down to earth so it's going good we're at clay play arts <laughs> we're gonna be doing pottery we're gonna make pots out of clay it's a cute first aid idea so do we just get like a blob of clay and just go for it or is there rules I could show you a quick demo that should we work great. on the same one ghost, ghost yeah. the ghost reference ghost it's, it's a movie from the 90s. Oh. And he like goes behind her and helps her with it. I've never been on a date where I've been told an old movie from a girl and I didn't know it. That's Really? That's cool, yeah. I love 90s movies. Damn, this date's already going great. <laughs> All right, let's see this demo. And you get a ball of clay. Smack it and release your stress. And we're gonna throw to the wheel head. Try to hit a Now, if I wanted to make something in the shape of, say like a pole, like a, a fur, like a barber pole, um, the bachelor, but I'm also a barber, so uh, I have one pole to give to the winner. I can make the pole myself. You can make, do we both make a pole and see which one's better? Yeah, yeah and then we, <laughs> we smash the pole that's not as good because there has to be only one at the end. Has anybody <laughs> ever just come in here and just smashed everything up, just like went nuts on all these pots? No. <laughs> What's the most expensive one you have in here right now that I could smash wow. and put on Ethan's credit card? With nice hair. Thank you. You do too. Thanks. <laughs> Is that all your real hair? Yeah. This, wow. It's not very soft right now. Maybe you need your product. Yeah. It'll make it softer, I'm sure. I would love that. <laughs> I'd love to apply it. Do you ever do girls' hair? Yeah. Not really. Actually, no, never. I got you a gift. What? I did. It's nothing big. It's no, nothing big. I feel but terrible. But it's I, okay. I haven't it's okay. anything myself. <laughs> it seems yeah. like a, it's smashable. <laughs> it is smashable. 
Oh my God. Okay, so you said if this didn't work out, you wanted a pack of French Bulldogs. So I was like, I'll get you your first one. It's nerf. I was at, yeah, I was at the store and I saw it and I thought it was cute. Oh, I love it. Thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're welcome. That's so cute. And I appreciate you wearing the name tag. Thanks. I know we had the confusion with the names. I may have broken the rules a little bit with messaging you to tell you that. Well, I was technically the one to message you, so. I don't wanna, I don't But it, okay, in, in my defense, I was already eliminated, so I was no longer on the show, and I was like, why not? You said to DM you, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna do it. How was that for you, seeing me Date other people? X you out. Oh, <laughs> I was like, well, I tried. It obviously stung a little bit because I was excited to meet you. Also at the same time, I was like, did he mean to do that? And it looked like a mistake yeah. right off the bat. I felt rushed there. The crew was rushing me. Yeah. And by the crew, I mean Ethan and Dan. <laughs> they, I think they were trying to sabotage. I'm just grateful for the audience that corrected the mistake. I don't know how you how you're able to make these decisions because just go with the gut my heart yeah wherever my heart goes i follow I'm or my sure. po pole in this case are, are you going to be making a poll with us sure wow. she's gonna that's have awesome. the best one that's, that's for yeah. sure that's incredible i feel like we need a picture at least i do you probably know what a barber pole looks like by heart like right? a rhabdomyolysis <laughs> symptoms looked up right now <laughs> on my phone Wow, um, that's so romantic. I was throwing up a little bit oh, more no. this morning. Oh, to <laughs> the other piece of clay? Wow. But if you go, you yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, okay. And just I didn't, clay. And you won't be able to have the bottom, but you'll be able to do a little knot on the top. Would I be able to do a bottom and, and put it on? Because if I don't, then it's just going to look like a, a male's genitalia. <laughs> I think we would try our very best to create the pole. You could do the top and then maybe carve the bottom a little bit. Yeah. Would you like to wear any fridge? Sure. Do we have to? You don't have to be Prince here. That's for you. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll do like, is that okay? okay? All right. Thank you very much. Wow. So <laughs> thank they're, you. They're I didn't want to wear. an exception for us. We don't have to do anything. Perfect. Because you look great. And thank you. I love your outfit. I would never Thanks. want to cover this uh, area. <laughs> I'm doing bad. Huh? I should out of this one. No, you're doing great. Don't worry. First, um, I'm going to have you just touch the clay, and with your pinky pumps, we're going to push it down and slowly squeeze to the middle. Looking at the picture, we have that knob on the top, right? Yeah, so we have sort of like a head, like a, no a knob is better off. Mm -hmm. So we create that knob. It could be pointy, it could be black. Whichever. I think that might be a little too tiny. That's tiny? The top. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Next. <laughs> We're getting age restricted on this one. No <laughs> money for you guys. I love it. That sort of looks like a chess piece. It kind of does. Let's go with that. So you want it to be wet at all times. Very agitated. <laughs> wow, that is some hole. <laughs> and, um, oh my god. <laughs> 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 this is a barber pole. You ready? I am. Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nice. That wasn't too bad. So you're supposed to slap yeah. it. Slap it and then you'll turn the wheel. Fucking owe me money. Where's my fucking money? <laughs> like, I might bump into some pots today just because I can't see out of my left eye that good. I'm not going to intentionally try to break pots, but if some break, add it to the lawsuit. Turn it to the high speed. All right. Yes. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> how'd you make it look so easy? How is this? <laughs> This does not look good. Jeff? <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> this looks like some Willy Wonka made. Can I help you? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, she's doing it. Very really? Good. Oh my yeah. god, yay. Okay. Look at me. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I think we're going to have to censor this. It's a barber, it's a barber pole. pole, like a bed post, maybe. <laughs> Everything else. Let me help you. Should we? Oh, do you want to know something? We actually matched on Bumble years ago. No way. It was, uh, I think, right after your accident. We matched, and then I went to go look at my matches, and it expired. To be honest, I only did that Bumble one because it was a brand deal. But it wasn't real anyway. If so. I found true love on there, great. <laughs> I was on there basically as a prostitute because I was just doing it for the money. So you're just swiping right on everyone? I don't feel special they did it anymore. For me. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking! You're joking! They, they just put me on, on like some auto. Uh, like Damn! Some, now I feel now I feel stupid. And they would give me a super pass thing, so I, I like match with everyone on the entire app. 
Jeff, but you didn't need to tell me that. You should look at it like we matched and nothing came out of it, but I never knew that. If I would have known that, then I would have seen you and I would have known that this is just love at first sight. Nothing came out of it. I, I never, feel I so even, stupid now. I never even messaged you, so. No, I well, I couldn't message you because it expired, but I mean, I guess that's good. I would, would have been talking to some random guy in India or something because it wasn't actually you. Yeah. Look, he's using the tool. Oh my gosh. I'm like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> the first man to use a tool. Look, you, you, you've you already won. We just need the you poll to give you. Everyone, well, Jeff. I mean it this time. Oh, sure. Okay. I just we'll, need to we'll make sure we, got, we have the right poll for the ceremony. <laughs> I don't date a lot. Really? Yeah. Do you? I've been single for like four years now and I've been on dates. Just, I don't know, I feel like as I get older, I become more picky. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel that way too. But I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm not gonna like, just date somebody to date Settle. somebody. Yeah. yeah. Like I wanna actually know that it would be long-term, you know? <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? That's perfect. Not it looks bad, pretty huh? good, honestly. Oh, look at yours. Damn, I'm going back in. So Cause I wanna it? really give this poll to one of these women. <laughs> If you give it to the other girls, they're going to be really upset that you made that on a date with me. Maybe after we're done with our molds, we could go to your dad's factory and we can make them into like jewelry, That's like an iced out like necklace for you with this pole with on it. With the pole? That's a huge necklace. I'll wear that shit. <laughs> Do you watch crime documentaries ever? No, because it's like, I don't want to get inspired to do stuff. <laughs> do you have a lot of friends? I have like a good five good friends best friends girlfriends yeah or you have guy friends nobody's super close did they ever try to make a move on you that's why having guy friends is really difficult because yeah. i don't know Girl i always curves. feel like <laughs> i have a girlfriend or you know tana yeah and she hits on me all the time she's all over me i I'm think she's like, hilarious relax you know you know the deal it's business only i do love her as a friend and a business partner i think she would love you too you think she'd like me? Yeah. She'd probably try to sign you to her OnlyFans agency or something like that, but I would never let that go down. I don't think I could ever do that. Once in a while, like I'll, I'll put like a thirst trap at the end of my Snapchat <laughs> just to get views, but that's to make money. You know? Yeah. Most of my friends, they'll, they'll like post girls mm -hmm. and I just don't like exploiting women for monetary gain. It's just the way I was raised. Family's so important. Yeah, I agree. They're the only ones that are gonna be there when you die. Oh. Not those pervert friends that were hitting on you. Those guys, <laughs> you know? I went to college yes. for okay. criminal justice. My mom didn't go to school and she never wanted me or my sisters to like rely on a guy. Um, How would they feel about you dating a guy with a criminal past? My brother-in-law was an ex an ex felon. Oh yeah? Yeah. What did he do? Him and his friends went to a liquor store and they were gonna rob it. He now literally works for our family business. He's a really great guy. Like yeah. you would never expect that he ever went to jail. Yeah, you could turn your life around. Well, look at her. Yeah, hers is incredible. I'm so happy we have a good poll to give now. <laughs> My poll's done. That's as good as it's gonna get. Or we could do this. Yeah. I was gonna put it on, uh, right on, on the middle of both of them. Yeah, I think. So it had a double base. I would pay upwards of $10,000 <laughs> or something like that. Get Ethan's credit card out. Yours looks really good, I'm jealous. Do you want it? <laughs> Maybe. I made I it for kidding. you. You did? That's mm -hmm. sweet. But I thought that was for me. They're both for you. I was thinking about doing a charity for like kids with like fucked up eyes, you know, like say, <laughs> the, say their eyes got fucked up somehow. I think that you would inspire them. I can them. somewhat relate, but also, you know, I still have my vision and it's, I'm so grateful for it. Cause yeah. when you, when you like are on the line of losing it, it gets really scary. Oh, I'm sure. So imagine being like a kid. So, I mean, I, I don't know. You can't like buy a new eyeball. I was gonna wear sunglasses to this date. I'm happy I didn't. Why? Because I was gonna hide it from you. You don't have to hide anything from me. Just be yourself. What are you, what are you showing me here? It's clay over my phone. Four feet. Right? Water resistant. Megan, do you remember 9-11? I remember exactly what I was doing. I had to ask after seeing these twin towers. Uh, this pot is perfect. You know, this is my second go. I struggle with the pole a little bit, but I think I think you get the idea once it's painted and whatever they do, if they like freeze it or something like that. How do, how do you feel about how it turned out? 
honestly. <laughs> I didn't do very good, but it's okay. I had a good time and we had some good conversation. How do you think they went overall? How do you feel? It felt like a real date, I'll be honest. I mean, with a camera crew and, and a bunch of strangers listening in on us. Would you do a second date if you could? Of course, of course. He was really nice, really sweet and respectful, and I would totally go on a second date. <laughs> what? I heard that. Yeah, she's real, she's real sweet. She's cute. She's hot. As much as the universe tries to tear us apart, like Bumble, we matched, never worked out. DM'd, never worked out. Made it to the second round. That even didn't work out. She got cut by accident due to a technicality or brain damage, whatever you want to call it. And now we're back and it's the last three and I'm fucked. It just keeps getting harder and harder. If this doesn't work out, then, I, then I'm the problem, you know? And I'm gonna unalive myself. <laughs> out on oh my god, what a dark <laughs> note to end on. Ian! That was, that was, I, I blame Ian as much as cut. Jeff for that one. That was a camp move there. I'm sorry. I did not well, let's not Jesus. do that. Uh, but let's thank you, what a lovely date. Yeah. I didn't say it. <laughs> that was cute. Now I, I remember a lot of it now, because I had forgotten a lot, because that night my brain, I told you, was in bad shape yeah. from the marathon that I won <laughs> over the weekend. Now, that's Jeff, it matters. takes two. You you had done the marathon two days prior. That's still in your head. Yeah, dehydration. Oh. Twenty six miles. I'll do it to you. You drinking lots uh, of liquid up to the. Oh yeah, but still, you know. Not enough. I was not feeling good, and it, it happens. It, that beating down your body <coughs> weakens your immune system. There's a lot of things that could have been going on with me that day, but I couldn't pull out of the date, and I'm happy I didn't. And I feel great Thank today. You. you look great. Thank you. You too. If we just chatted a little bit back there. And oh, okay. I shouldn't even be saying this, but she was like, it's okay if you don't pick me. <laughs> it's, she was like, I, I'll be very upset, but yeah. if you don't, like, we can try, like, again or something. Cause well, I mean, I don't want to be like the... No, 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 no you know she, what? She, she, you can put that. Uh, that's totally acceptable. But it, sh it is a show we're doing here. Yeah. So, you know, like, if we did go on a date without a camera crew, maybe things would be less awkward and I wouldn't yeah. be saying shit like that. Well, uh, you are, con he is contractually obligated to bring a camera with him on any future uh, day. For the rest of our lives? Forever. Yeah, forever. forever. <laughs> no, um, I mean, I just want you to choose whoever you feel comfortable with and like, just go from the heart. I don't, I don't want, I don't know. I know it's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of really great girls, so. She's so sweet. She <laughs> beautiful. Really She's wonderful. <laughs> Megan, are you Bachelor Nation? Yes, I love mm. the bachelor. Okay, I noticed you had made a comment about the. Uh, you corrected him. It's ABC. Yes, it's ABC. Not NBC. Yeah. Yeah. When I was cool. watching that, I arrogantly yelled at you. I said I should be on fucking NBC, <laughs> and I said the wrong network. ABC. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's your favorite? Um, what's for your, this season? What? Who's your? Fi what's your favorite bachelor or bachelorette season? In general. Um, I watched it a lot when I was in college, and then I took a little bit of a break. Mm -hmm. Um, but. Honestly, I was like really into Colton season. I loved yeah. Colton That was season. really good. And, and then the, the ending was like so crazy. Dude, yeah. Colton's um, one of the best ones. Yeah, for sure. Are you guys watching this season? Yeah, but it's yeah. boring. But, <laughs> you mm. think it's boring? This Jeff, would you watch Bachelor boring. with her? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, fun. Yeah. I've, it sounds I, dumb, but it's, it is. And it is, but it is also fun. Yeah, yeah I I, I've fun. intentionally not watched it because I want to make all the stupid mistakes <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I did love Maria. Did you love her? Yeah, she was really cool. Yeah. I at first I was a little weary about her. I was mm -hmm. like, mm, I don't know who's in the wrong here, what the drama is, but I she just brought a realness to she did. to it. And then that the show really got liked. boring. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. But I think Kelsey's so funny. Do you follow her on TikTok? No. She has a TikTok and she's hilarious. Okay. So, what was your first impression of Jeff as you as you saw him? Um, at, <coughs> the first thing I said to you was, wow, you're so tall. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. He's so tall. He's really tall. Oh my I, goodness. I mean, I knew you were tall, but I didn't realize you were that tall. I mean, he's really short, so. Yeah. That's why, and do you like tall guys, Megan? Of course. Of yeah. course. <laughs> I've only ever really dated guys that were over, like, six feet. So. And is he, would really? he be the tallest guy you've dated? Um, probably not. Yes. Yeah. Just say yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yes. Mm -hmm. Jeff yeah, needs to hear for that. Sure, for sure. Well, would you fucking date an NBA player? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, did no. you? No. Jesus. You think I would have dated an NBA player? 
You never know. know. <laughs> look at you. I, I, you look just, like an NBA player's trophy wife. <laughs> Thank you. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Compliment. Yeah. Um, a, a, no. And Jeff, what was your first impression of uh, of Megan? <sighs> I mean, you heard it. I said it. Say it again. Hot. <laughs> Hot. Thank you. Pretty. Cute. <laughs> sweet. You know. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> everything I'd want in a woman, and it's just getting harder and harder. Yeah, it seems you she guys had a nice chemistry there. She comes and, from a uh, good family. Mm -hmm. She works for, in her family business. Is that right? What do you do? Yeah, I do. So my we have two businesses now, but we started about ten years ago making um, silver bars for people oh, that right. invest in precious metals. Yeah. yeah so just melting. Um. Yeah. Because they're like blacksmiths. Kind of. That's yeah. why I said we're going to ice oh, out that pole. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, my brother in law does all the pouring. We take like little pebbles of pure silver and we melt them down at like over a thousand degrees and then pour them into oh, different God. molds that might do. What makes. part of the process do you do? I stamp and I polish it and I, Ooh. yeah, I, it gets dirty. I was telling him I wear like work boots and like leggings. And Damn, you're like a, you're like a, work. that's a real, uh, Blue collar, you know, influencer shit right, right there. Yeah. Hell no. Cool. Yeah, I like that. That doesn't get more down to earth than that, Jeff. <laughs> she's no. she's literally interacting with minerals. Do you have pure minerals. Right? <laughs> polishing them like you manual like, labor. To make jewelry, does um, that cross over? Like it, it kind of does a little bit. Like there are people who will like have custom orders for things that they want to wear, mm -hmm. but um, usually jewelry is nine two five, so it's mm -hmm. not pure silver. Um, 5 is not pure silver? No, it's 92.5%, really? I believe. So, uh, yeah. But so you, you guys do silver. Yeah, so we do that. And then you like just, silver, Jeff? Yeah, love it. Nice. I love the chat going on silver. right now. Like, he, I could see he was already thinking about what we would do as like a couple, like how we can Absolutely. grow the business and how could she get, she get more creative. I can't creative. help it. My brain yeah. is just... Like, <laughs> like you with Teddy Fresh, like how you branched <laughs> out from this business that you guys started mm -hmm. together. Yeah. How can we get you to leverage now yeah. your following <laughs> that you're gaining. Apparently if, show. if you drink silver, <laughs> it cures COVID. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. I don't know how true that is though. It sounds good. it sounds, <laughs> sounds like hot. The, uh, boiling the hot. Nobel Prize. <laughs> I I don't know if that's even what it was they were selling, but have you tried consuming it? No. Okay. Okay. No. Just curious. <laughs> like curious. like that not. like that vodka that has the gold the gold flakes in it. Um, Gold schlocks. Are you thinking about yeah. that documentary? That no, there's like the preach during COVID. There's that preach. The, oh, a bunch yeah, of people were right. selling like silver solution right. as like yeah, a cure. I remember cure. that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I noticed you guys bonding over of your the uh, ad admiration of each other's hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Great he has hair. Really nice oh, yeah. hair. I will say, like. I don't think I've seen a guy with better hair than yours. Better. To be honest, oh. to be honest, it's hair, really that, nice. would you say I'm the hairline king of YouTube? She didn't say hairline. She said the hair. <laughs> yeah, I Still, would say yeah. so. I was gonna say he would get mad at me if I said that because I know he. <laughs> well, that's, you can, one of, you that's one of his claim to fame. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, but, but listen, you do. I'd say you're the master you debater. Dating, you're the master right? master at debating. I know it's me. Uh, I know you're just saying it for the day. <laughs> no, you have a great hairline. He great does, hair. It is tremendous, yeah. Very nice. And you have beautiful hair. Thank you. And Jeff, what does your hair look like when it's not been all styled out? Like, if you don't do Doesn't anything, happen. take a shower, this you wake as, up in the morning. This is as bad as it gets. It's this just, is straight out of bed. Sort of just molded. Really? Like, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Well, can, can she touch your hair? Um, let's see, yeah. Get your hands in there. <laughs> wow. My hand scratches. <laughs> I love when people play with my hair and scratch my head. Oh. You guys, is that weird? I don't know. No, Ethan loves <laughs> head scratches. Yeah, no, it's totally not weird at all. There we go. See? That's it's the beautiful. pomade. That's that's the beauty of the pomade. The pomade. <laughs> it's malleable. And, and, and what is your hair uh, regimen like, mm, Megan? I use like a Revlon blow, the blow dryer. Right, um, right. So I kind of blow it out and then I curl it. But um, my hair is naturally curly. Oh, for so, real? So yeah, it's like pretty like frizzy curly. Not like super crazy, but mm -hmm. I have to style it. Otherwise right. it looks Wow, a, you do a very, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell. I'm gonna have to go in that bathroom like, Kanye did to Kim on the Kardashians and just start throwing shit out. Replace everything. Revlon's the ops. I love yeah. that. Now what? <laughs> yeah, we're taking all that out. Paul Mitchell, trash. Yeah, awesome. Everything's going in the trash. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I want to try your stuff. I was going to bring some today, but I thought it'd be like a cheap gift. You know, no, my fine. own stuff. It's fine. But we can do that later. And also, I, it's not fair because I didn't bring the other girls' stuff. So I don't want to show favoritism, but True. it's, you know. Yeah. Who, 
Who? No. Nah, nah. You brought him a gift on the date. Did you ever yeah. open it? He did on the uh, on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Nerf. I was it was a it. French bulldog. It was a oh, the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. I even reacted to it. Right. It was it was uh, a so silver. Shall I open the, this present that you brought to us? Yeah. It's just seized candies. Oh. Thank you. you. <laughs> but Hold Ethan, it was Hold a silver dog. French bulldog. It was silver? Not made of actual oh, silver. Gosh. That would be insane. Be that would be a lot but, of money. But, but Maybe one day I'll make get that one. <laughs> Megan is winning right now. <laughs> That's a big ass box of seeds candy. <laughs> Hold on one sec, everybody. Fuck. Oh my god. I couldn't god. come empty handed. <laughs> she oiled I you up. I needed to bring something. Hawk, you want to get in on the seeds go. candy? Oh yeah, this is uh, <laughs> all American. Mm. I love how Gabe's just waiting Wait, there. Do you guys want? Sure. Mmm. Hey. Yeah, which one should I go for? I don't know. Mm. I'll do one of these. Hold on one sec there, Gabo. Nice to see you, though. Whoa, the necklace, Gabe. You know what? I'm Vinny the Guinea, and I'm looking for some love. <laughs> Next season right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Vinny the Guinea. Where are you looking for Vinny love? The Guinea. And no more Gumar. No more what? No more Gumar. Gumar? <laughs> no whore. No more oh. Gumar. No one more side side chick. Oh, we're wow. running straight. Is this like a character he's doing? Like I, a yeah. Jersey Shore guy? I, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Gabe, what do you think about the lovely Megan here that uh, Jeff had this wonderful date with? Hi, Gabe. It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. But, Jeff, are you ready for a second, a second date? A double date? Oh. Perhaps? Uh, uh, well, there are two questions you know. there. Am I ready for a second date with her? Yes. Am I ready for a double date with you involved? Absolutely not. Oh. Oh, no. Why not? You mean, like, in the boat? You let me dry. Gabe you tried to, to sabotage my dry. first date. You're trying to crash into our boat. <laughs> I'm on a first date here with a camera crew, all of America watching, and you're trying to make it even harder for me, Gabe. <laughs> I told you don't fuck me that day. And what'd you do? You tried to fuck me. <laughs> now, uh, Gabe you're is- You're hanging me dry, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> now, Gabe was- All right, uh, fine. He was offended that he wasn't invited to join you guys for pottery. Aww. Aww. Yeah, he would have smashed up all the pots, like I was saying. <laughs> so he would have bumped into all those pots. <laughs> Cost you all that money. He says you would have destroyed the goods, uh, Gabe. You got any other lovers for me, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> well, make, Whichever one you don't pick. You happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, we're gonna we're gonna work on that uh, for Gabe. He's a good man. He deserves. Nah, it. Gabe, I'll go on a double date with you. I'm just joking around. <laughs> just breaking your balls. <laughs> I love you, Jeff. I appreciate Aww. it. Ah, oh, that's nice. I love you too, Gabe. Yeah, you're the man. How you doing, by the way? Happy Friday. Good weekend ahead? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday, baby. baby. Yeah. Hey, I don't know nothing about nobody. <laughs> My name's Guinea the Vinny. I don't know nothing about nobody. <laughs> that's a slur. I think. Guinea the Vinny what did I say? Right Guin here. Oh, is Guinea a slur? Against who, Italians? Button. I mean, I'm not offended, but I'm only, again, I'm only like 75%. Is that, that's not that bad. I mean, they're Italian. I've never heard that in my life, but let me look it up. To I mean, they're short. Italians. Look it up. Maybe you have a button. That, how far back does this button go? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not buttoning it. The Italians can live line. with it. Look, you got, I mean, you got listen, the pass. You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but 15%, maybe 10%. No Italian. way. Really? That makes so my you got kids. The pass. Nice. Yeah. I think I have some in me too on my mom's side, but. Yeah. I'll have to, I have to do a DNA test. Mm. Figure it out. Um, how much Italian are you, Jeff? I just remember, well, I'm fully from, like, Europe, in, around that area of Italy, but my mom's full Italian, uh, Sicilian, and my dad is half Italian, oh. and some other stuff. So you're pretty so, good. A lot Italian. <laughs> Isn't it? You got an Italian right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was you nice. know how to I make a... I went out there to meet them last summer, my Italian family. Really? Yeah, it changed me. Oh my god! I saw where I came from, my roots. Wow. Did you connect with them, or was it weird? No, I I connected instantly. It was, was crazy. Was the food amazing? Yeah, it was unbelievable. The best pizza, the best just. But you don't care about ever. food. Over there, I cared. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. It was crazy. It was like the olive, just olive fields everywhere, mm -hmm. like in The Godfather. Oh. 
I felt like I was in it. What do you mean? It's like heaven. You don't care about food? What do you mean? Yeah, I just good don't question. Really yeah, I just, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I don't have much of an appetite and I'm very picky uh, with stuff. Oh, oh I get that. I'm kind of the same way. My friends always get on me. They're like, because I'll eat something in the morning and then I'll be okay until like dinner. And I don't know. I, I just don't eat as much. And they're yeah. like, why don't you eat? And I was like, I'm just not hungry. Like, I don't do it on purpose. I just don't feel like eating. You know what? So I, I love that about that. you. Not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's good to have an eating disorder, but <laughs> I mean, but I don't, by the works. way. I don't, um, by but the like, way. I don't, I'm not a big We're like, not. brunch guy, like going out to brunch because yeah. I got shows to film, I got things to do, you know. Yeah. I, I can't mm. wait. You're time busy. Like that. I just, I feel anti like brunch. So Is that, are you, how do you feel about brunch, Megan? Um, I like brunch on the weekends, like with friends. Like I could maybe say I could but... sacrifice a Sunday. Oh, yeah. Sunday. Sunday. Brunch is a w- is. Sunday, <laughs> I forgot he was there. Yeah, we got to do brunch on the Sundays, right, Gabe? Yeah. Yep, brunch on a Sunday. That's what <laughs> brunch is for. That's it I, is, I, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but, but yeah. usually brunch, I don't. Brunch is specifically a weekend, a weekend meal, isn't thing. it? Yeah. Is it? Maybe? Yeah. So I could sacrifice. Weekend days, okay. time the rest of the for weekend. sure. I'll okay. have time for things like that, but I'm just. I, I was saying that I like that you, you know, is just sitting down, ordering, waiting for the waiter, and then the, the check to come, and it's like fucking. I gotta go upload something or do something. Mm. But you're like go go go. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of like me too. It's so just being honest. Because it's so alike. Remember, yeah. You guys yeah. have so much in common. Just, just blend it all up. Put the whole meal in a blender. Let me drink it. <laughs> Right. It has to taste good though for me, honestly. Like, don't ca- I don't care. Really? As long as I get my nutrients in my body, I'm fine. You're I a soy same kind of guy. I could eat the same meal yeah. every day. Have you ever tried that? I the... do it pretty much. Yeah. If you look at my Postmates history, it's pretty much just reorder, reorder, reorder. <laughs> Wait, what do you order? What is your order? Yeah. I'll I'll get uh, like a steak at night, or I'll do red meat every night. Not every night. I'll do. Well, right. I was for a little bit, and it was messing me up, mm-hmm. so I changed it. That's probably why I was throwing up blood. No, oh, God. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> concerning. One we'll meal, on that. one big meal a night, and then <laughs> candy, whatever I want at the end of the night. But that's after a long day of hard work. <laughs> mm. He he's a candy fanatic, Megan. I he like likes candy. sour candies. Oh, I love <laughs> sour candies. I like the extreme, the um, rainbow ones. Oh, you ever had those? yeah, yeah. They yeah. have them in like little, Skittles. like bite size ones. Yeah, they're head extreme. Yeah, those are really good. I know all about them. Yep. Those things I, I got in some trouble with big time. Why? Because <laughs> I was just going too crazy with them. Like the, I ordered the big bag on Postmates and I didn't know how big it was and it came in. <laughs> I smoked a little weed and I fucking teared oh up that God. whole bag and I had a podcast to do the next day. Oh, and no. my tongue was all ripped up. From, oh, from oh. the. Yeah. I've never sour. heard of that happening to so somebody. A, a mouth injury. Wow. That's my job. Wild. I almost had to call out a podcasting. Uh, Megan, oh do you partake in the um as the as the Rosses would say, the ganja? Um I that's a good question. I Thank you. Honestly, <laughs> um smoking makes me kind of anxious. Me too, girl. Yeah. Me too. Don't <laughs> really? Jeff just gave up smoking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do it every once in a while, like with friends or something, but I'm not like a, a big smoker. Yeah. Is yeah. that important to you, Jeff, uh, that your significant other enjoys smoking with you or no? No, I don't care what they do. Yeah. I like you know, some sometimes I'll go on a date and a girl will be like, "Oh, I shouldn't drink because I know you don't drink." And I'm like, "I, I don't, mm. I don't drink because I had a problem." You know? Yeah. You guys do whatever you want. Mm. I'm jealous yeah. if you could just have a few <laughs> drinks and maintain your yeah. Life. I mean, I have never been a person that needs like a drink every night, or I've never, I've actually never drank by myself. I've like. I don't know. It's just something about me that I just don't yeah. do that. Me neither, girl. Me neither. I yeah. see you. See it as a yeah. social. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. To me, yeah. if I was to yeah. drink by myself, I would feel like such a degenerate. Me too. For real? Me not, too. not like... Because I, I've done drugs by myself. Oh, okay. But ju- alcohol, for some reason, yeah. isn't doesn't... It's not a solo drug. Yeah, it's what like, drugs have you done by yourself? Like opiates and shit. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah. I used to be kind of addicted to... <laughs> but, I mean, others. they feel good. Mm-hmm. They feel good, they're but they're awesome. addictive and they're terrible. Yeah. They're terrible. They're yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, Extremely they're addictive. Rule. Hell yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm off it, though. That's nice. Good. good for you. Clean. Good for you. Thank you. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's not really yeah, anything, it was years no. ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Gabe, have you ever battled uh, addiction uh, of any kind? Well, I try not to, but <laughs> the only addiction I have is... Ice cream, sugar, chocolate, mm. whatever. Sounds but great. No drugs. 
I only drink when I have company over and smoking <laughs> some cigars. I don't do it by myself. So. That's great. Jim, you should go to an AA meeting and give a speech. It's a good man. Nice. That's a good that man. great. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I've never tried, um pottery how did you guys like it oh my gosh it was so hard yeah i also did not wear the right top i was like mm. not expecting to have to bend no you yourself. did oh. you wore the right top for sure Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> i greased that uh I, our, our teacher i greased her so you she did. didn't put an apron on you to cover you up uh, no oh, but i needed I to put the apron on I was she like, wanted the apron jeff fader said no apron. i didn't want to give everyone a show not for free she I, picked her outfit <laughs> You know, I, did. I knew we were filming. I want to make sure that she was happy with the way she looked. Yeah, he was yeah. looking out for you. Thanks. So did you actually pay her? Because it's not like a safety issue. You don't need to give her money not to wear an apron. It's your clothes. took the money. You gave her money? She didn't want to even have to think about it. How much know? money you give her? I think I just slipped her a 20. Dude, that, I guarantee she has never been bribed <laughs> to not wear an apron like, before. This is different. <laughs> Do you like he does that? He took the money. I thought it was attractive. He greases people up. I like you know that. about that? Money. She I said like thank that. you. I know it was you. <laughs> He's greasy, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Rezies never have any problems. Love it. Wherever you want to go. <clears throat> um. What's your favorite type of food? Um, I love Italian food. I love pasta. So good. Um, that or Mexican food. Yes. Those are the top good. two for me too. Oh, really? Um, uh, I got a good That's restaurant for us. Baby. Really? Our, so you said earlier the embargo embargo's lifted. We can communicate outside of here now. Now. Well, we now. had not. N well, the embargo no. was going to be lifted said after tomorrow. After tomorrow. Because tomorrow. Because you're tomorrow I go on your another, final day. Final day. Another yeah. date. Yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> um, I've never actually dated someone where I knew who they were dating at the same yeah. time and could see it on the internet <laughs> so same. it's a little different and a little weird but um i don't know i think the whole point of dating is to meet people and see who's right for you and you know get the best person you know now so. let me ask you this megan because i'm a fan of dating shows and reality shows a lot of times the person they'll be so um They'll say like you said, which is like the right thing because you don't want to be possessive and controlling and yeah. stuff. But then the other person like in Jeff's position goes, you should have told me not to go on the date. Oh you should have fought for me. What? You want, right. you want me to say that? I, I just want you to be yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so why aren't you fighting for him, Megan? I, I'm here for you. Like I, I see it as confidence. But... I see it as... That's what it should I be. Agree. You don't sense a threat. Yeah. And even if you do... We can always try again yeah. later on down the road if things don't work out because you're local and I mean, I don't want to be like the second choice. Obviously. No, but. you got you can't. No, I'm not saying you like got to pick her, Jeff, right? Like there's no sex. Yeah. There's no mulligan. OK, show's over. Love, <laughs> show's over then. <laughs> End the show. We're done. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds confident. Hear? That's Is that what you want to hear? Well, I want. Well, no, not quite. How much was that flight from Australia? That was good though. <laughs> wow. Okay. Did she get what type of seat? Did she get? Was it a middle seat economy? Because it's um, a long flight. Uh, I'll upgrade her for the way home <laughs> if she even goes home. Oh my god! You haven't had the date. If yet. that's what you're feeling, then I'm not gonna stop. You know what I mean? Like, well, I, I'll send. Well, actually, let's I'll send not do her, that. I'll send her home right now. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. No, don't, I'm kidding. I'm don't kidding. Do I'm that. kidding. I'm sorry. Don't yeah, do sorry for each yeah, yeah. I, I mean, oh. obviously, I would love nice. for it to be us at the end, but I don't. I, you have to give other people chances too. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Megan, as much you, as had, I hate you had mentioned that you've become picky over the years with yeah. your men. What do you look for in men? Um, I think confidence is a really big thing for me. Um, somebody who's secure in themselves, um, like has a goal and they're working towards something mm -hmm. and I don't know I feel like at this point in my life I just I need somebody who you need a man a, with a job yeah established <laughs> <laughs> um yeah um I don't know I and I'm like I'm almost where I want to be I'm almost done with school so I just want somebody who's kind of in the same place to like start to settle down and right. she's looking yeah. for a real man Jeff yeah what are your thoughts on mental illness <laughs> that's a great that's a great question real I, or fake <laughs> 
I was going to say, I <laughs> love <laughs> that you guys talk about <laughs> mental illness and stuff. I think that's great. I was diagnosed with anxiety when I was in middle school, actually. Mm -hmm. And I take medication good for it. Good for you. Oh, good. So, yeah, like, it What do you want? What's your dosage? Um, no, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> that. I take Zoloft. Oh, but, I, I, yeah. Really? I've heard good Zoloft things. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good for nice. you. Yeah, I love it. I, I love that. That's great. Yeah, uh, I, I take meds, too. When I'm all was, screwed up. <laughs> we can be screwed up together. It's fine. That's so I like people that are on meds because it's like it takes a certain humility and vulnerableness with yourself yeah. To, yeah. to give yourself permission to seek that help. Now, obviously, everyone doesn't need it. Yeah. But I think that it's a nice thing. When uh, I, yeah. I appreciate it about people that, that, are, that do. I used to be like ashamed of it when I was younger and not really mm. tell people. But as I get older, I realize everyone struggles with something mm. and yeah. it's it's so common. Yeah. And I think it's important to talk about it um, so other people don't feel alone or strange right. or different or anything. Yeah, and it sort of feels like you, you found out a secret that's like a, a secret little way to get help. Mm -hmm. And it'd be messed up to not share that with yeah, the world. That, yeah, that's kind of my opinion because it helped me so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We that's probably would have never even rekindled after our first live show together if it wasn't for... Many, meds. many meds. <laughs> Lots of meds. Yeah. yeah. On my side, too. Yeah. We love meds. <laughs> meds have brought you guys together. It's yeah. wonderful day. Um, yeah. Megan, your thoughts on kids? I know Jeff wants to have a family. Is yeah. that something that you see in your future? For sure. Um, I'm extremely close with my family, and I don't know. Growing up, I just, I always expected to have a family one day. When I was little, I was obsessed with, like, having a baby, and I don't know why, but um, I was eight when my little sister was born, and so I used to pretend like mm. she was my baby. Um, but I don't know. I've just always felt like I would be a good mom. How many kids? Uh, probably like three. Three, Do Jeff? Think? What do we think? Spot on. Mm -hmm. That's the number yeah. you had in mind? Perfect. Yeah. Three's good. <laughs> did you guys plan for all these babies? Yeah. Or did well, you just... We think... planned them one at a time. Uh, but did you have a, a goal to hit? Do you we have a goal to hit? We at least two because we didn't want like one child to be an only child yeah. kind of vibe. And then we're like maybe three. Once we had two, we were thinking i i was thinking that i wanted another one yeah i i told Ela that i leave the choice to her because it's her body but you, you well at first he brought it up like right after i gave birth no i, I wasn't was like, like i need more time yeah. no, well, hold on hold on i wasn't trying to knock you up <laughs> right know, after you gave but, birth like, even talking about it i was like yeah i, I need yeah, more time yeah. to even talk about it yeah, yeah. but but when i was ready i was like yeah i do want one more but yeah give it, it a give but it like a week I'm or so so over it after this <laughs> this is gonna be it <laughs> yeah <laughs> How old are you, Megan? I'm 28. 28. Yeah. Oh, fantastic age. Yeah. Tremendous age. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. feel like I'm mentally 28 or 20, <laughs> 20. Perfect. Five, 23. Um, <laughs> and so, I noticed that, um, Jeff, you are cringing at times during the date uh, here in person, rewatching it. Rewatching? Oh. You were, you were, um, you were hiding your face. <laughs> Yeah, because I say stupid shit, and <laughs> I forget that I say it, and then I go back to it and watch it, and I'm like, damn, I'm an idiot. It's okay. <laughs> I do that, too, but the difference is I can't see it played back. So. She's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> True. That's true. I mean, she got a point, you know? We don't all get to... Oh, this Bumble match was quite an interesting... Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Heartbreaking, in a sense. I was like, damn, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honest, you know? No, at and... least you're honest about it, but yeah, yeah I was like... Man, I was catfished. No, oh, yeah. you just yeah. you matched with a bot. You know, that's <laughs> at least it not, was a robot. I don't own the company. They were just pay, paying me to use me as is a that, prostitute. Is that basically. like um? I feel like that's not good for people to know. Like Bumble's paying people to have fake accounts. Yeah, is that a secret? Like that's kind of scandalous. Should I not talk about this? Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> Did you sign anything? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they pay. Okay, so hold on. What was the deal? Maybe we should move on. It was when COVID started. It was virtual dating. So, so, so they, they had want... me promote that I was going to be dating from home. And they just set it up for you? That's scandalous. Bumble, you need to I answer I had to make to a this. video filming the dates. So I actually <laughs> did go on some of the dates virtually and made a video out oh, of it. Oh, you did? That was part of the brand deal. So did yeah. they send you um like a short stack of ladies? What? How did that work? I, mean, I just picked the top three and just fucking... Top three of what? On the list. The, oh, like, there was a the list matches. and you said boom, boom. I didn't make yeah. the cut. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even care. I just wanted to get the money. <laughs> I didn't, 
you know. You guys hear that? Bumble is a farce. <laughs> well, I don't use any dating apps. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, uh, you know, I, I only use H3 Batch. <laughs> that's it. That's the one stop. So. <laughs> um, you said you've been single for four years, Megan. Yes. Why, how, uh, how is it that, um, I mean, that's a long time. It's not by choice, yeah. obviously. Like, I've always been a relationship type of person. Um, but like I said, I just, I. The woman's picky. Know. Look at her. <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty picky, but um, yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I've been on dates with people for sure, and I've had like flings with people, but nothing that ended up in a serious yeah. relationship. Got it. It's yeah. hard to find. It is. It's really hard. It's and I feel like as you get hard. older, it becomes harder too. Yeah. And I work with my family, so it's not like I really you meet, meet people, people at work. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll go out with my friends, but like you don't really meet it's not always quality the best. people yeah. at bars and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've tried dating apps, but like. You get bots. <laughs> you get bots, yeah. A bunch of liars on that app. I don't think the I'm rest sorry. of them are bots on there, but I think I purposely was like, I'm not going to be doing this. Or maybe I was late or something. I just. Jeff, it's got to feel good that you as a man can be botted out because let's be real, <laughs> there's not many of us out there. <laughs> This was BC though, before Crane. I had uh, like a really nice. When people BC. were attracted to you, back when people were yeah, attracted to you. Yeah. Oh my God. Megan, are you, they did used you the old pictures? Did you recoil in horror when you saw his eye? No. <laughs> I actually said to him, it, I would have never it guessed that you had an injury. It looks the same. Yeah, yeah, it looks the same. Thank I keep trying all. to tell him that. He won't listen. Yeah. No, I listen and really I appreciate it. I just love hearing it. I yeah, <laughs> keep it up. Keep going. Keep okay. going. <laughs> I he also I heard what he said about David Dobrik. Just no, oh, I you heard, did. I heard it. Oh, that was cut. No. Yeah. For your was. benefit. It was. <laughs> <laughs> For your benefit, my friend. Mine too. I spilled a little bit too, mm. but. But you spoke. You said something um, about Dobrik. Well, I said he was talking. Mm, you could say it if it's not if it's not a lie. <laughs> no, I I went to his party a couple years ago, his birthday party. I have oh. friends who are friends with people that are friends with him, and um, I was just saying that he just stayed upstairs the whole time for, at his birthday party. What a and weirdo! I, yeah, and everyone else was just partying, and that I was like, weird. "Did you just throw this party it's for other people?" It was weird. really weird. Hmm. You but never even saw that's him. All I said, no, I saw him like on the balcony, but like he never came down. It that's was, psycho behavior. Guy. He's probably. I heard he's just been drinking and like partying, hmm. and I thought, okay, interesting. Just, like, fucking yeah. living the dream, mm -hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Fuck him. Whatever. Sounds like fun, but I don't know. It's not me. No. <laughs> doesn't sound like a dream. Sounds, sounds like, like he's dream. hiding uh, something. Big yeah. time. Crimes. He's got some dark, dark crime. Yeah. Yeah. What's upstairs, David? Well, yeah. <laughs> Why are you up there all the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Well, I would love to do a room raiders and remember an MTV show? <laughs> to do that in his room. No. The things what you'd is that? find. You don't remember when they would like kidnap? <laughs> MTV was nuts back in the day. I don't think I've ever they seen just, that. They would just for crusty socks. Like, or say something. you were oh. you were signed up for Room Raiders. A van would come in here. They'd <laughs> kidnap you, fucking throw a sack on your head, throw you in a van, and they pull up to your house. Who gets permission for that? I don't know. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I, know I know what you're talking, I, I know about. What you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, that. And they also used to have crazy dating shows, too. Like, they would have the <laughs> huh. girlfriend that they're actually dating be up against other girls. And the mom, I think the mom would go on a date with the girls. That's awesome. And then, <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. Bro, strange, I'm, about to remake, I'm about to remake that show, Room Raiders. <laughs> I get Adrian Schroeder. I don't know how you get permission to do that. The parents give permission to fucking abduct their child? No. Is that what happens? No, I, it's. Well, actually, like teenagers. Probably. Then, like, how the hell? Okay, right? they were probably like early twenties, mm. late. Mm. Like, they were probably over eighteen. Potentially fake. Then, how did you get permission to do I, that? Honestly, That's a lot of fake. those shows seemed fake to me. Yeah, the like that bully beatdown show, <laughs> where they would have like a bully. <laughs> they would beat the shit out <laughs> yeah. of a bully. Yeah. Wow, what a, what a time! <laughs> <laughs> what I remember from Room Raiders, they would always get a black light and shine it on everyone's bed. Yeah, like a bunch yeah. of like jizz and stuff. Oh, and it was, yeah, yeah, it was so pretty gross. bad. So that gross. was like the big moment of the oh show. Like, God. let's yeah. see what really goes on, yeah. you pervert. And um, <laughs> I I was meaning to ask you, Megan, where yeah. were you? On 9/11. Oh yeah, I was telling question. them this the other day. I was getting yeah, yeah. ready for school in my parents' bedroom, and I just remember the news was on, and I think I was going, I was like going into kindergarten or something. Oh, you I was were pretty young. Okay. But I just remember being really shocked, and but I was so young I couldn't really comprehend what was going on. So, mm -hmm. but yeah.
I was alive for 9-11. She was alive, that's all that matters. <laughs> she even remembers it. all that matters. Remembers, I, yeah. I actually yeah. couldn't believe your story. I did not know that until the last episode. Oh, yeah. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a good prank on Hassan, you know. <laughs> yeah. The old, uh, that was the old Jeff on the show good. now. Very you know. good. Do you think America deserved 9-11, uh, Megan? Absolutely not. <laughs> No. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that my, was so my, sad. My Hassan, who uh, used to have a show with Ethan, he would disagree. He would say that <laughs> that we did, or he had said that we did. So yes. I brought him on my podcast, and I had my mom call in, and I was like, "You said what?" <laughs> Look, America was, has done God. some fucked up things, but it's all true, those girl. innocent people—they should not be caught in the crossfire. Of Absolutely. Yeah. Not. And, then Hassan, wrong. and then Hassan told my old Italian yeah, mother that she do, that he doesn't believe in God, and then my mom was like, "Oh, this, oh, this, this is." Guy. Oh, um, she hexed no. him probably. <laughs> she was going nuts. She's about Italian to jump through the Zoom screen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, I remember watching it on TV. It's the sounds of 9/11, I believe. Yeah. I was I was watching the news and I remember seeing the second one hit the yeah. tower. It's just like I'll never forget that moment. It's such a weird. It's just so sad. The real. It's really sad. Yeah, my brother went to high school where he had a view of it, so he saw it happen. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, knew... you were in New York. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's crazy how we always get into 9/11. <laughs> it's important. This is all right. It's important to 9/11 you. segment. I yeah. have a little story though. Yeah. Uh, that small one. It's not really like anything personal, but my aunt actually had somebody that she was friends with die in 9-11 and she went to the memorial, which I've been there. Have you been there? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, we've been there, um, yeah. She was looking for his name like on the list of people who died. Mm-hmm. She couldn't find it. And then a butterfly came out of nowhere and landed right where his name was. Whoa. No she way. She was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. So crazy. crazy. Wow. Yeah, crazy. That just made me think of oh. it. Yeah, I went there with my mom to visit this last summer. Mm. And I, I bumped in a, a kid from high school I went to high school with, and he was like, "Yo, Jeff, holy shit, man! Like, I see you all over YouTube. Like, mm. what are you doing here?" And I'm like, "Oh, my mom was in in the building." And he's like, "I'm so sorry." And I'm like, "No, she's right here. I'm with her Aww. visiting the memorial together." Aww. He thought I said say my mom was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But she wasn't. She was right next. Thank to God. God and God, thank, thank God. God for that. And God bless. Like, oh. We laughed about it. He's <laughs> alive. Around his yeah, it's kind of dark. <laughs> Fucked up. She lived on like these idiots. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but, but, no, no. <laughs> and um, your thoughts on Osama bin Laden? We oh got him. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, good or we love? Do we like that we got him? Yes, got obviously. Him. <laughs> I'm like, is that a trick question? Love that. Nope. Love that. Uh, love that. No, I want Jeff to hear it. <laughs> yeah, Jeff love to hear that. it. Okay, good. We do not like Osama. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Very good. I don't know who does. Uh, probably, they're out there. Probably well, his crew over there. People. Interesting. I don't know if you saw the um, <laughs> Taliban. The the letter to America that was going. People were like uh, simping for him on TikTok. Oh, I think I heard a little bit about this. That's mm. crazy. I yeah. agree. How old was he when he died? When they killed him, he was pretty ripe old age. Right. He was in maybe his four, maybe like early forties, late thirties. When did he start oh, really? the Taliban or whatever? Like, what age? Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm. Oh, he was he was, he was 54. Because you know when you watch like a movie and you like you're like, oh, how old is that guy? And you compare yourself to them. Mm. Like 54. Yeah. 54. He was 54 when he did the attack. No, when, when he, he died. died. When he did the attack, he was 34. Th- that's my age right now. See and, what I'm and, saying? And frankly, for that a 34 year old, that's a really a big whoa, achievement. Whoa. Hold on, yeah, wait, wait, wait. For like wait, me wait, right now, hold, like 44, 44. Oh, 44. Yeah. Oh, right. See that? Yeah. Oh, right. That, that's like years. that's yeah. a big achievement for 34. Yeah. yeah. You need to establish yourself. Yeah, I was, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing enough in my life. <laughs> shit. Up. 34. I have level two you buildings. You got time, Jeff. Stream the award ain't shit. I need to do something better. Marathon. What do you do by 44? Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull something off. <laughs> nice though, something good. So, um, I think. Uh, what do you What do you study, by the way? What are you um, in school for? Yeah, well, I got my degree in criminal justice, and I minored in psychology. Ooh, um, you're gonna have a lot to say about Cody. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I was gonna go to law school, and then, well, first I wanted to be a detective, and I figured for real. Yeah, I did, but then you have to be a cop for three years, and I was like, There's oh, no way, I yeah. Could do that. That'd be I'm crazy. five two. Could you imagine me trying to arrest somebody? No, not no. really. Jeff, they would laugh th- in my face. Well, you'd have to go straight to the taser. Just go straight to the gun. <laughs> Just <laughs> pepper spray me. Yeah, yeah, pepper taser spray. everyone. That's yeah. pretty pepper badass. Spray. You wanted to be a detective. What's your thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah, I think it's cool. I was always gonna go either. Uh, 
one side or the other of the Crime law. Crime or police. <laughs> but, and you yeah. like the opposite. Because it's, it's very similar. You know, you get a gun. Ops and robbers. One gets one legally that you get to use, you know, and you're both looking for drugs to bust. <laughs> That's true. You know. It's cops and robbers. Yeah. I'm it's looking to take your drugs. Spy, you're looking to take spy. my drugs away, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, but it's, they're very similar. Two and sides of the coin. You got to be willing to bust into places, not knowing what's on the other side of that door. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. crazy. They both probably take that's the why drugs I, too. I couldn't do it. Yeah, they take, skim a little off the top. Of course, take the <laughs> edge off. Cash, yeah. skim yeah. a little off. And so, what? What is your plan? Are you? Yeah, are you happily so, in uh, the the silver business? Um. So my dad wants me to take it over, and I, mm-hmm. I just. It's great and it's doing amazing, but I just can't see myself doing that like mm. forever. I'm not really mm. passionate about it. Mm. Um, so I was going to go to law school and I did an internship in um, criminal court. And the lady who was the court reporter in the room that I was interning in, she was showing me all about it. And I thought it was really interesting. So I just looked more into it and I found out you can make some pretty good money doing it. So Court reporting. Court reporting, yeah. So I'm in court reporting school right now. I'm almost done. This whole wow. shit. Yeah. They do it like three buttons, right? It's like 26, I think. Oh. But there's no like letters on it. It's Whoa. it's phonetic and you have to press down. Like this, the left side is your left side of your word and then the right side is your right side of the word and then the vowels are in the middle. I would love to see oh you in action doing <laughs> that. I have some videos on it. I can oh. show to see you. Now Jeff, she might, she's recording everything. What is the reason <laughs> that it's not just like a regular keyboard? It's faster to type that way. Because really? you don't... Um, press down each letter uh-huh. as you go. It You press down like for a whole word or a whole phrase. Ooh. Do you journal yeah. ever? Um, I used to, not really anymore. I Why is that a like, red flag? How do we, <laughs> if we got an argument and then she just went and journaled on the thing. And like, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> he doesn't forget. I don't really do it for fun. I just, I do it for practice and like for mm-hmm. work or whatever. And then I'm gonna say, okay, it. Megan. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. You remembered my name. I've, I, I always have. It was just, you know, the crew. The mm-hmm. damn crew was rushing me. Okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, Megan, what do you do for, you have hobbies? What do you like to do on yeah, your free time? Um, I mean, I'm so busy. I literally go to work, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I was telling him I go to work from, like, 10 to 5, and then I have class from 6 to 9. Whoa. So, and then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have class in the morning, and then I go to work after. So, I really only have time to do stuff on the weekends, but I try to work out every day. Mm. Um, yeah, and so, I don't know. I try to keep as fit as I can. I've been trying to run a little bit more, I was telling him. but We love running. Yeah. yeah. But I can't I can't run as much as, like, I was telling Not him. Not many I can. can. I can only like run a little bit and then I'll have to take a little bit of a break and then run again. But I'm sure as you practice, you get better. But um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, I like to work out. I like going on hikes. Um, we like hikes, Jeff. Yeah. Love them. Whatever it is. <laughs> I think Jeff. No, can. I actually Whatever do. you like. You know, I go hiking. I, well, I don't oh, yeah, call you, it a hike. I, right. I run it. Run. But yeah, um, it's a hiking trail. Mm-hmm. I'm just running past people. Nice. Like, oh, you're the barber guy from YouTube. Can I get a picture? I'm like, Fuck that. <laughs> AirPods in, bro. I've you never don't been stop. to Runyon, actually. I've lived no. here my whole life and I've never been. That's a cool place we could go. Yeah. together. Like date. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can keep up with you running, though. We go to Griffith. No, I wouldn't. When do you think <laughs> is appropriate uh, for, for the first kiss? Second date, first date, what are our thoughts on that? What do you want to get action right now on the show? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just curious. I want to know, you know. Don't be cre- this thing like a creep, you know? Like, I don't want to do it. You, I'm not, you don't need to kiss. It's got to come natural. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I don't really have a preference whenever it just feels right. Mm hmm. Where did you? And are you guys, I, and does it feel mm. right right now? No, I'm kidding. Oh my I'm God. kidding. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make it. I was up. thinking about it at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the pottery oh. video, but. Now that you're putting this pressure on us, I don't like it because oh, I feel like no. it's a shotgun forced kiss. Now we're going to have to yep. wait a long time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, listen, whatever, whenever that kiss happens, I will not, there won't be cameras. If there's a kiss, it, that's all between I you guys. I that, yeah. Well, well, I won't be nasty. there. Is there going to be a finale ceremony? You, you gotta, yeah, when you pick the winner, you have to give her a peck on the lips what to if, steal the deal. <laughs> if I, yeah. Yeah. What if I just kissed one of them there? Sure. Whoever whatever. gets the kiss first wins. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, that could work. I'm joking. I don't well, know. I don't. I don't yeah, I'm I know. Just I, know. I know. So, um, in summary, two beautiful souls have come together. 
You kind of missed the opportunity for the ghost moment, didn't he? Yeah. He could have ghosted. Bit. He should have watched it before. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe know. I didn't know that reference. <laughs> But after I watched it, it made me want to redo that whole day. You went back and watched it. I want to go back to that place. What was that guy's name? Who, the ghost guy? Patrick Swayze. Patrick, Patrick Swayze. Swayze. Yeah. Rip. And he was in there. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. Hey, idiot. Who's a ghost now? R.I.P. I think he had cancer. Oh my god. Yeah. Damn. Patrick Swayze. That was he was in there. <laughs> Boy freak. Is it. there anything you guys want to um? Any words you guys want to exchange? Anything you want to tell each other? Obviously, Jeff has a date in the morning. Yeah. You guys touched on that a little bit, uh, I, but... I don't know. I think I told you everything I needed to tell you off camera. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. And, and that was very sweet. I am going into a date that I... I can't lie, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, of course. You know, I, I, I've been open about everything here. It's been broadcasted to millions not easy mm -hmm. yeah no for sure <laughs> so yeah it's you know down to the last three <laughs> and down just one more left to go and it's not getting easier yeah i think on monday the, your third date we'll discuss and then on wednesday ian and sam the finale is that's when oh, we're really? uh we're the the top two will have to do combat with giant q-tips oh no is that true <laughs> no oh that'd be sick but also no that that'd kind be of sounded awesome up. but also maybe not yeah you're perfect <laughs> unless they no wanted to matter unless they unless they both said hey that joke idea we want to do that <laughs> would you battle with a q-tip for jeff's love oh, you mean like on one of those big like balancing things and you correct uh, I'm I, more it's of a, okay. a lover, I, I, not I a fighter, but I, I can want, do it. I, can I believe do it If you want me to, I can I do saw it, hesitation. But. I don't want them to have to do that. No, <laughs> I changed my mind. It was funny. It was a funny joke, but let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay. I was going to pitch bladed weapons first. But... <laughs> Gabe, what are your thoughts on these two? Are we, are we, is this going to work? What do we think? Well, I'll see. <laughs> He's skeptical. It's a mystery. I, I think everything's a mystery. Mm. So we'll find out in a few days to see if it works through. So that's I'm kind of like undecided about it. Okay. I'm hard to that's read, fair. huh, Gabe? I'm hard he to is. read. He is. He is. I was having trouble Did I have the schedule deciphering right, uh, your humor Ian? a little bit, but I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Is the finale on Wednesday? Yeah. Well, we can. Uh, we'll talk about it. We oh, it's it's not it okay. Well, we gotta find the one before. The baby comes. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Because if this gets postponed. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was saying. You have three We're, days yeah. or something. My sister's about to have a baby too. Oh my God. Yeah. Her due wow. date's the 30th though. It's her first. Well, we better hurry oh, this oh, up. Congratulations. Then. Boy or girl? Pick. A boy. Of course it's it is. It's the year of the yeah. boy. Only boys. Only boys. It is yeah. so in to be a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh boy. I'm getting, I'm getting jealous. Jealous of what? Them having babies? Yeah, baby boys. Just yeah, enjoy the freedom you have right now. That's all I'll yeah. say. Yeah, because I have like nieces and I have mm -hmm. so much fun when I go home and um with them. But my brother and sister will tell me like, yeah, like it's it's fun now. But like, think about that always. Like you're on your phone and they're pulling your arm. And yeah. I love you it. You can't even look at Because I don't do shit. I don't have interests outside of my family anyway. Yeah. Like I yeah. work. You know, I, I, I don't think I sacrificed. Um, I didn't have like an outside life. You know what I mean? He doesn't like to leave the house. <laughs> yeah. So it works. So I wasn't like, oh, I can't go with my friends anymore because I never did that. Yeah. Right. So. I'm okay to lose all my friends. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> no. Compared to your kids, you're, yeah. you're going to like your kids way more. <laughs> yeah. All right. But still, you know, like traveling. That's right, Gabe. Taking love, any One love. I, we have to wait a few years the until we can really like... Can. Take yeah. a good long trip anywhere. Oh yeah, cause, cause traveling with three babies. Well, yeah, it's a yeah, lot. You gotta should. pack the whole house. It's <laughs> like if you guys were to. Um, but people do it, so I don't know. If you guys were to um, uh, procreate together, <laughs> what's the timeline? Do we have a timeline? Uh, um, well, for me, once I get settled <laughs> into my career, I'm gonna be starting hopefully by the end of the year. So I mean, maybe like after a year or so. Make some money that Sounds I can good. work freelance too with the job that I'm doing. True. Like, work nice. from home if I need to. Nice. You said you're. Yeah. yeah that, what do you think about that, Jeff? Is that on your timeline? Yeah, I'm not in any crazy rush. Mm. My mother's always calling me like, <laughs> "When are you gonna have me a grandkid?" Yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah. that's her job. I mean, yeah. honestly, I would ho want to around 30 maybe for me. So that, when did you have your first? Uh, around 30. Our yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, around 30. I have to get married first though. 
<laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I agree. And you want to yeah. have time to enjoy being a couple. Yeah, too. of course. Yeah. Travel a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, travel. <laughs> do some fun stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any ideas for a second date, Jeff? Do you like going out? Do you like like going to clubs? No, not clubs. Okay. I don't like clubs good at all, answer. honestly. Yeah, good um, answer. I'll go like out to bars every so often with my friends. Yeah, that's cool. Just like a drink or two, like mm -hmm. nothing. Is that what you're thinking for second date? Because you don't even drink. No, I was just asking in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just because I, I was just thinking like if we had to go to like hide and I'd have to just oh, God. sit there and pretend like I'm having fun. <laughs> people bump Sounds into like me. <laughs> yeah, shit. I haven't been there since I was like in college. Great, great, perfect. <laughs> perfect. I, I don't even know what you said. Hide? Hide, yeah, it's a oh. club in LA. I, I don't, I've never been to a club in LA yeah, in my whole life. Really? We've never been. You're not missing anything. I don't fucking, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because so, it's sometimes like Michael called me and I'm like, bro, Ethereum's up. Let's fucking, let's go out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh my gosh. We should be starting family. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Right, right. So yeah. second you date, do you have any ideas? What's your ideal <laughs> second date, Jeff? Second date would probably be, um, well, what do you like? What do I like? <laughs> um, we could go to like a nice dinner or something. I know you're not great. too crazy about food. No, no, I was thinking, I already had a restaurant in mind. Okay, perfect. But there's also like mm. my favorite restaurant. What is that, it? It's just like the atmosphere and stuff, but you said you don't like sushi. Yeah, I mean, I'll go and have, usually they have like teriyaki bowls or something. Like yeah. I can have something else. Because I was going to say mind. like Nobu and Malibu. Is... Oh, I've been there before. And what did you eat? They had, they had Wagyu tacos, I think, that I had that were really oh, good. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it was good. So fucking it's, fried chicken. Because it's just chicken. right on the yeah. ocean, you it's know. It's fancy. Well, can I recommend a spot? Yeah. Malibu Seafood. You guys been there? Mm, I, I thought, oh, it's you, you, you guys, I thought you, you guys both either. don't like seafood. It's fresh. I don't, don't like. But they have like fish and chips and. It's cooked oh, okay. food. Well, they they have fresh chips. fish there, like halibut and salmon. It's like, yeah. like great. Straight out the ocean. Right on the ocean. Right, right, right on, right on the Pacific coast. Nice. Are you a LA native? Yeah, I grew up here oh, in the valley. Yeah, I'm a valley girl. You guys, you guys should go to Malibu Sea. Yeah. Food. I got a nice, I got a nice Italian spot that I go to, and Ooh. it looks like Goodfellas in there. Like they have Christmas lights up all year round. That's actually you, so cute. When you walk in, the the hostess, his name's Johnny Rose Beef, <laughs> and he was actually in Goodfellas. <laughs> no He way. was the guy that was. Oh. Remember the guy that after they did the heist and they got all the money, and they. Do you remember Goodfellas? Mm -hmm. a, a bit. So remember the guy that bought the pink Cadillac, and Robert De Niro was like. What the fuck are you doing? I told you don't buy anything. Take yeah. it back. Take it Take back. Take it back. Yeah. Get Take it, it out back. Of here. That guy. So that guy, Johnny Rose Beef, he's the host. He's there. So <laughs> oh, he wow. welcomes you, and he like comes and hangs he's out. He's the host. Here. Yeah. Is it in Beverly What's Hills? The restaurant? It's uh no, it's on like a side street in the middle of no. They don't even need oh, like a okay. nice location because it's just mm. like they got the guy underground spot. Yeah. Interesting. I just blew it up. No, I didn't say the name of it though. <laughs> isn't there a <laughs> isn't there another character in Goodfellas named Johnny Rose Beef? Not there, his character, but someone else. No, he's Johnny Roast Beef, and that's what he still goes by to this day. Huh. There's only one Roast Beef. Why do they call him Roast Beef? Guessing he loves Roast Beef. <laughs> he probably loves cold cuts. a slice cuts, of that. Cuts, so, yeah. Danish for Bell. Huh? Is he a big guy? Oh, yeah. So he's a slice of roast beef. <laughs> he's got a few slices. Whoa, that's crazy. Lean back. Meatball. Well, um, listen. Second date point I'm out. I'm yeah. feeling chemistry. I'm I'm seeing electronics. <laughs> oh my god. We have we have power. We've discovered electricity. We've got kites on with keys. Very stressed. It's flying. I feel it. It's all it was so crammed. Like I have a date in twelve hours. <laughs> Crazy. Just have fun. Okay. Go with your heart. But also, well, that's all you can do. but also, don't forget to fight for him, too. But yeah, don't forget about have me. Have fun, but don't have too much fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't forget yeah. about me. Yeah. Me. Her you know where, where to find me. <laughs> Not her. <laughs> all right. But this was a really, uh, Megan, thank you. It was so nice to yeah, meet you. You're so you lovely. Yeah. Thanks. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. I look forward to seeing um, what's going to happen. I know. <laughs> I can't wow. wait to find me out. Too. Wow. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. And are you, are you you watch the show a lot? The show, yeah. I'm actually a newer watcher. I don't really? watch all of yeah. I don't watch all of the episodes, but I watch them from time to time. When I'm working at work, I don't talk to anybody when I'm at the workshop. So I have like 
a bunch of time to just listen to whatever and mm. you guys are on at the perfect time so nice. i'll watch yeah did you hear about the show via somebody else or did you hear about it i just, just found it online watching. like i was just it was like recommended in my oh. youtube ah. hey and then recommendations hey. nice. oh. the <laughs> algorithm has brought us together the algorithm yeah. is working <laughs> yeah so wow what a special <laughs> what a special moment you said. yeah well guys Thanks. um Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So nice yeah. to meet you. Fun. You too. And uh, you we'll lift, we'll be lifting the embargo tomorrow. We're tomorrow. lifting the embargo tomorrow. <laughs> so I can talk to you outside oh here, gosh. off camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we could do that kiss we were talking about. Maybe. If maybe. You're, None, you can, got nothing to do with me. If you're, uh, <laughs> if that's if you were open to something. Of like course. That. Yeah. You guys are planning your kiss. That's interesting. <laughs> like that. Well, it's just it's it's you did not that. it's not how I would traditionally do it, but we are on a show it here. isn't a yeah. traditional process here so. maybe i'll put up a hidden camera or wear my spy glasses when i would do that it. be okay with you if you <laughs> secretly filmed you guys uh, <laughs> that could actually be really cute you could watch your first kiss over <laughs> again i just red aired it <laughs> live streamed it <laughs> that i wore to the cartel when i was buying oh the my god in Mexico. <laughs> that would not be a cute angle of me though so we'll have to figure something maybe else i'll out. give them to like my friend and i'll have him sit in the corner Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> Watch. Oh, man. Cody will be wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like you too. Turn them on. <laughs> you two, uh, lovely people. Wow. Thank you. You guys, yeah. No, you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, we're done. I'm just, I just want to thank the crew and the people watching at home for doing this. You know, it's, it's crazy. I'm going to find love. <laughs> well, thank you for going along with the process, right? Yeah, yeah. Man. Thanks Quitting for paying for all of it. it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, well, you it's know, been fun. it's been well worth it. My goodness. <laughs> Anything for you, Jeff. Anything for love. All and right. now you, Megan. I care about you now too. Okay. Anything for you. <laughs> Same. Me. All right. Wait, are you? Oh, oh physical contact. <laughs> okay, yeah. we got a hug. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, Is this the first time you guys have hugged? No, we have. We, we, you guys have embraced uh, before. Yeah. Was it a long hug or a short hug? Like a greeting or something else? <laughs> okay, don't make the Do hug a, weird. A nice hug right now. Okay, they're going to go <laughs> hug off camera. Thank you guys. Nice to meet you. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I can't <clears throat> wait to see what happens. This is a true nail-biting experience here on yeah. the Batch Thriller. She was lovely. I can tell that the, the chemistry is bubbling over like yeah. a pot of simmering... Um, Silver. Sil Silver. <laughs> oh, man. But we have one more on Monday with the long-awaited Baritza from Australia. Wow. I don't know how he's gonna pick though. I don't know either. People want me to go on a date with Cody now. <laughs> they said that the, our chemistry was electric as well. Yeah. Maybe me and Cody can go play mini golf or something. And that's funny. He can guide my swing. <laughs> I think that'd be very cute. You could do a double date where it's like you and Cody. And oh my God, that yeah. would be funny. That with would be winner. funny. <laughs> Next season. <laughs> next season yeah so i thought they were lovely but being real i thought they were very love i thought they were had a nice compatibility and that there was some I mean, real attraction there i feel like he does with all three you know yeah well like, he hasn't gone hard. on that i know he really likes Verita. he hasn't gone on that date yet right love but you. her she was very um powerful content oh yeah she shut she shut me up <laughs> she's like excuse me can you yeah. please be quiet yeah like, whoa Uh, Vert people are making fun of how I'm saying it. It's Varitza, I believe. I believe I'm saying it right. Love well, you. we'll know on Monday. <laughs> sure, yeah, maybe I'll go on a double date with the winning couple. <laughs> and we'll, me and Cody will just be like, kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Gabe, nice to see you, buddy. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Incredible Maybe. performance. <laughs> Ooh, say. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Friday. baby. Gabe, <laughs> roast beef, Gabe. <laughs> How about spaghetti? For spaghetti, Gabe. Spaghetti, Being Gabe. Like spaghetti, hey. Gabe. And my meatball. Hey. Spaghetti and my meatball, <laughs> Meatball, baby. Gabe. Hey, marinara, Gabe. Come on. 
What food am I, Elo? Of if I was an Italian gangster? Cannoli Klein. Cannoli Klein. <laughs> hey, it's pass the, the cannoli. <laughs> is stuff like Can I say cannoli. something? Cannoli is probably the single most overrated dessert in the world. Oh, it's gross. I it's bad. Would have to agree it's with not you. Good. And I'm like, really? What? I'm like, my family I, loves cannolis. It, We're Italian. I also agree. The shell is too soft always because it's supposed to be a little soft. It should be crunchy, in my opinion. And then it's I don't hard know, to the, eat. The filling's just know. like it's too cheesy, in my opinion. Even a perfect cannoli, it's just not it. I'll just haven't had a good. Cannoli. No, there's yeah, there's, there's cannoli and there's cannelloni, right? Is, Say it again? There's also cannelloni. I've never heard of cannelloni. Is that cannelloni. like um, the pasta version? Because there's like a dessert and there's a pasta, I believe. A dessert pasta? Speaking of dessert, no, that one, one is not. Candies a that. Hawk, how'd you okay, like the seas candies? Uh, sorry, say again. How did you like the the chocolate? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. A bit of, got one with the crunchy bits. Ooh, nice. crunchy. Uh, we love that. Uh, yeah, cannelloni, cyndrical type of egg-based stuffed pasta, oh, shit. generally no, served, not. baked with a filling, covered in sauce in Italian cuisine. Yeah. <coughs> Wait. So, so right about that. So, I don't even like those. Is my point. We're just ant. We are cannoli is a propaganda <laughs> yeah. perpetuated by the Italians. <laughs> They have tried to export in the past fascism. <laughs> we have declined that. Now they're pushing cannolis on us. <laughs> cannolis is just another branch of fascism. We don't accept it as Americans. No. We say no to Mussolini. And we say no to... Cannelloni. Isn't there, isn't there a pasta that sounds like Mussolini? Like... Um, <laughs> there's so much. Mussolini? There's a... Oh my god! Ans Anson's brought us oh. a Easter basket. Oh. What? And Sons chocolates. Oh my god, that's wow. so cute. That's so nice. That's all I ever wanted from uh, them. I just wanted a sweet little, it's you got know, a little yeah. ducky yeah. face. Just a sweet little s s thoughtful gift, a mm -hmm. surprise. You know? That your, is very your boy cute. Jeff hooking you up? Wow. <coughs> Whoever it is. It's I don't so, think I've ever met so him. It's too cute to eat. You don't think you've ever met him? Well, the, his brother. I've never met his brother. No, Jeff is what you mistakenly call Mark. His name is Mark, the guy that you met. <laughs> no, but his brother's the one that's been bringing the chocolate, I thought. No, no, it's Mark. Oh, it is? Yeah. Doesn't he have a brother? He yeah. does have a brother. Yes. I thought y'all were talking to his bro. No. no. Not I that I well, it's been we, did, oh, we did meet him once, but... Uh, All right, well, let me say this. And sons, we've been through a lot together. Oh, careful. <laughs> Wait, that was inside of it? Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Chocolate Whoa. bunny? Let me say this about Ansons. Look at these. Say it. They're so cute. <laughs> First Can of all, see little face? Comparte's is bullshit. I'm sorry to say it. That chocolate is just for... It's, wow, you it's really... It's not a ser... It's good, but it's not serious. Wow. Now, here's another thing. I've tri I tried artisan chocolate from another artisan chocolatier, and it's in the same... Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. It's the same vibe. And I said, okay, let's see if Anson's is really that good. And like, I'll be, I'm just gonna be real about it for a second here. Look at this, they made an egg. And it says pre cut for your enjoyment. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> Mark. Why'd you cut my egg though? <laughs> Why'd you pre cut my egg? <laughs> there's little eggs, mini hazelnut, hazelnut mini eggs. Look at this, cute. It's oh like a God. peep. Okay. <laughs> so I'll say this I tried arson chocolates from another place in SoCal. And it was literally not, not even, close. even close to Anson. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. It was not even close. Hmm. You want peep? Mm-hmm. Peep this peep. Oh. Mm. You guys, who wants to get in on wow. this? I see somebody say, but Anson's doesn't have vegan <laughs> options, so bye-bye. Mm. Well, that's uh, fair. Interesting. And, and also, I'll say this. I can mention that to them. <laughs> I, I have the ear of the owner. <laughs> You know, so <laughs> look at this. Oh, See, so but, this uh, one is pre cut. And that one is not. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Go hit that. <laughs> get right in there. Oh. Easter is real. That actually oh. looks really intense because their chocolate is so uh, decadent, but it's usually little Fair morsels, passive. and that's like massive. Wow. That's like so a good. Big boy. All right. Let's... That is so good. Now, again, cut for your enjoyment. I have seen people say that they've ordered it and it was so expensive it wasn't worth it to them and stuff. So, like, obviously, it's a very mm. luxury 
Yeah, it's it's a real treat yeah. yourself situation, and very much so. If you're if you're wondering if it's worth the money, probably not. I'll try that. Oh my oh, god, curious. it's a brownie! Did you have an opportunity oh, to try it's like a little cake here? or something inside? No, he didn't. Yeah. No! Dude! This egg is the best thing. It's got a brownie and caramel. And graham cracker on the bottom. Oh my god! They're crazy. Ooh. Holy shit. Wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. fucking good. That must be the best <laughs> dessert ever. It's crazy. Olive, you want to try? <laughs> Hawk is giving out. his sign of approval. Anybody back there? It's good, right? Yep. Holy shit. That's I wish. Shit. Mm. Yo, nice. pass that shit, dude. That's crazy. Oh the Hawk is trying it right now. I'm curious what, because, you know, the Europeans are very serious about their chocolate. So I'm curious. This is artisan True. American chocolate. Well, th this one was uh, with a cake in it. Yeah, this that I gave him one of the egg pieces. Yeah. And so that's kind of like a... I mean, I mean, it's doing. delicious. Yeah. Weren't, yeah. What, you tried it last time you were here, weren't didn't you? No, no I don't think we had it last yeah, time. Yeah, I was. I couldn't I remember. I think you did. Yeah, Boom, that's some. Um, oh, maybe. Yeah. Wait, and then there's another one here. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, that's it. I cannot eat more. Well, I got to try this thing, though. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> We've mm. been doing. Whoa. It's huge. It's huge. It's just a bunny rabbit. All right. Bite its head off. That's what I'm going to do. Rock and roll, baby. Oh, my God. I thought it would be hollow. <laughs> Welcome to chewing gum. I can't eat too much because I'm going to get a terrible heartburn. It's fun, but not as good as me. With the uh, pregnancy, it's Eggs been crazy. Okay. We'll put it back in the bag. Um, should I let Gabe go? What? Gabe, well, it's up to Gabe. Whatever oh, Gabe, Gabe wants to do. I just remembered that you were like kind of saying goodbye to him, and then I think we got distracted. So. You, you got, you want to take off, Gabe? <laughs> well, I want to say happy Friday, baby. Enjoy happy the Friday. chocolate. Baby. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. Keep the love, and you guys are the best. <laughs> Benny the Giddy said, Ooh, ciao. <laughs> ciao. Ciao. Bella. Ciao. ciao, Bella. Until next right. time, Gabe. See you, Gabe. Oh, my God. That egg. Eat that, because I don't want it. Okay. I'm, I don't want to eat that. I need a minute. Okay. <laughs> anyway, cheers to I, the bunny rabbit. I let, I would keep the stuff and eat it, like, slowly, but you kind of, like... Oh, fuck. Wait, You're pressuring on. me. They also have the eggs, too. They look great. Wow. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these. <laughs> is, is Easter this weekend? Right. I, I, that's what I'm understanding. Uh, okay. So next, the following week. Can you guys tell me what people do in Easter? Cause I'm, I've never understood the eggs. What do you, what's the deal with decorating eggs? You uh, said you were giving it. I think it's total. I, I don't know, know the specific my mind. origin of that one, but generally, a lot of the Easter, like iconography and stuff, is a blend of. Um, like old European, like springtime traditions, essentially. Okay. Pagan stuff. Ooh. Um, Let me ask ChatGPT. Yeah, what? Because uh, it's, um, it always happens around the uh, spring equinox. Ask it, what's the deal with the Easter bunny? But uh, anyway. Oh, sorry, it's the 31st. The 31st. Easter. Okay, yeah, got sorry. it. Wow. Dude, I gotta be honest, that egg was spectacular. That egg was amazing. <laughs> was Chef Sandy outdid herself. Mm -hmm. Chef Sandy Those outdid herself. That was a whole meal, you know? <laughs> I'm not a Christian, but my family growing up, like my grandma and my aunt would like come by and like uh, we would decorate eggs and then do uh, Easter egg hunts. Yeah. The kids yeah, so would really tell like me it. about that. What do you do with the, with the egg? Do you hard boil it? Yeah, hard boil yeah. it. Okay. And then you would you dye it. There's different dyes and then okay. you put like stickers on it or whatever. And then uh, you could either hide them, or, or there's usually the ones that you hide have, like, they're just like fake plastic. eggs. Plastic. Yeah, plastic. Yeah. You put like okay. chocolate in it and stuff. That shit was so but, yeah, fun was, when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Was I, I never, ever participated in that shit. And yeah. if they were real Bummer. eggs, 
Yeah. yeah. And they were dyed. The weird aunts and uncles eat the, the, the like, colored eggs afterwards. That's mm. what I was going to ask. Yeah. Do you eat it after? I remember oh. just being like, why are Hard you boiled eating that? Egg? And they'd be like, it's no. delicious. It tastes the same. And I still, I would never. <laughs> that was one of those things that me as a poor, lonely Jewish boy, I never had the joy of. I never did an egg hunt. I never did an egg. I never had, like, even no. uh, your. Your dad uh, is very against, school? like, non Jewish he does, stuff. He, oh. <clears throat> he, yeah, he doesn't like. No trees. Yeah, no <laughs> Christmas tree. No eggs. Oh, oh we did all that. <laughs> Can I ask yeah. you a question? Because I know that um, I learned mm -hmm. that in Islam, you guys recognize all of the all of the previous Abrahamic religions. Does that mean you guys celebrate like Christmas and stuff, or or is it not the same? It's not the same. I mean, yeah, we believe in Jesus and we like uh, we acknowledge <laughs> him as a prophet. And we we honor him that way. Like it's it's like a sin mm -hmm. to talk bad about Jesus, but uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, we believe Amen. in uh, the the uh, I'm sorry, the Bible and the Torah and all that. But oh yeah, Je Je so it's all Jesus part of a within, big story. Yeah, yeah, Jesus within Islam is like uh, Moses in Judaism. Like mm -hmm. he's he's not like a Messiah figure, but he's an important <laughs> prophet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. For for Muslims and and uh, I. Excuse me, uh, but this is it's like um Lord of the Rings trilogy, <laughs> right? The three books, <laughs> right? And uh, the Quran is the return of the king, the right. ultimate, yeah. That's the I wish yeah, my theater third chapter. Yeah. explained it like that, yes. yeah. The yeah. third book, unfortunately, is like where they added hell uh, and all this other bad stuff, but they added more doors when things go dark, yeah. <laughs> it's like Godfather Part Three, it's not the weak one of the trilogy. No, I shouldn't say that. Oh, god. <laughs> Not during <laughs> Ramadan. <laughs> I'm just saying, we we like look right now. Everyone's enjoying chocolate. I'm just sitting here with. Oh. Yeah. How are with you shit. guys oh, holding no. up with Ramadan? Yeah. Um. Are you guys okay? Yeah. It's it's a lot easier around family. Yeah. Especially because Lena's mom is just a beast and she handles everything. She uh -huh. does all the cooking and. Yeah, I don't know. It's but it's it's been okay. Yeah. So if you're cook, if you're pre can yeah. you start preparing food before sundown? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. They just can't yeah. eat. And then, and then mm -hmm. can you taste it? No. 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 You can't no. taste the seasoning. Mm -hmm. How was your birthday? Can't chew gum. Mm -hmm. No birthday. No birthday. Yeah, I just slept on my birthday, yeah. <laughs> and it will, Olivia, I don't know how you guys do it for 30 days, right? 30 days? Yeah. yeah, month, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's tough, but it definitely, like, makes you appreciate stuff and, you know, understand right. the struggles of others. It's like a lot of people will say that the way... Like I'm doing it doesn't even count. Like it, whenever, Why? like whenever I want to break my fast, I always think of the most religious people. Oddly enough, because they're the ones that say, "Oh, you have to pray and you have to do all this, or it doesn't oh, count." Oh, oh. But it's like, I mean, yeah. that's not the reason I'm doing mm -hmm. it. There's other purposes as well, like to see what you know, poor people go through, you know, people less fortunate, mm -hmm. broke ass people, yeah. Yeah. Not losers. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Yeah. I used to do uh, Yom Kippur every year until I met Ethan, and then. We did it one time together, and then that was it. <laughs> I was like, wait, let me get this straight. We're not drinking water for yeah. 24 hours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even make it one day, much less 30. That's bullshit. Um, <laughs> all right. Very good. Well, you guys are almost, is it at the end of this month that you guys are done, or how did, does it work? No, it no. started, like, what, Lena, was it the 10th? Around then, yeah. But you guys still have a hefty... They're about halfway through, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. a hefty couple of weeks left there, right? Mm -hmm. Does does it always land on your birthday, or does it? No, thank everyone uh, oh. keeps asking me that. I know right. it changes every year, right? Oh. That's what I figure. Mm -hmm. Which sucks because for me, my college years was all during Ramadan. Like, I mean, sorry, Ramadan was in the summer um, during my college years, which mm -hmm. sucks because I can eat Oof. till like nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If it's in the winter time, people break fast around like five in Michigan right. at least. Yeah. <laughs> So we like uh -huh. a winter Ramadan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That makes, that makes sense. sense. It's a much shorter day yeah. for you to have to fast. Yeah. Huh. Well, Eid Mubarak. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, nice. Thank you, Hawk. Hey. Ah, well very done. nice. Well done. <laughs> What'd you say, Ramadan Mubarak? Eid Mubarak. Eid. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. I think it's like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a celebration at the end. Eid yeah. is like our Christmas in a way. Eid? Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Eid. Is, isn't the Eid the oh, every Eid. celebration? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's the celebration. Eid Mubarak. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you. Good. Mubarak Mubarak. Blessed celebration or blessed event or something like that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's funny. I realized last night because Hawk has been here twice now. And Love hasn't even lived here for a year. I've lived here for four years, and my dad hasn't come out yet. And I just found out he's going to Florida, and I'm uh, with his uh, girlfriend in uh, 
her family, I'm, I'm going to hold that shit against them. <laughs> I mean, I'm calling them out publicly now, but it I mean, pissed me off. I mean, th this is an all-inclusive vacation for me, you know? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Would your dad sleep on your dad, couch? <laughs> yeah. You've been called out publicly. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't feel bad. My dad's the same way. Yeah. Don't feel bad. My mom's the same way. <laughs> they go, where's Ethan again? Yeah. Oh, he's, in, he's at college, right. I'm happy my, my uncle and his family's coming down next week, and he's like mm. a second dad to me, so. Nice. Excited Oof. for that, yeah. Nice. Getting the I, uncle visit before the dad visit. That's, yeah. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Ayad, I hope you're listening. <laughs> that's what uncles are for, though. Yeah, no, this uncle's the man. He's, yeah. he, it's always been that way with him, yeah. Is he's your dad's brother? With you? Yeah. He's the, the doctor I used to work for before I worked here. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, they're gonna be staying with us. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. Does he want to come examine uh, Ethan's process? Yeah. Do we need a doctor on set? <laughs> I was thinking of asking, but I feel bad. He's never been to California. I don't yeah, know if no, I want to show that's him. A ass lot. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Maybe when my dad, when my dad comes, he's not a doctor, but just you know. For some reason, your uncle, <laughs> your <laughs> some reason your uncle doing it makes me more uncomfortable than just. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I like agree. yeah. There's separate. I agree. He came People. to LA and now he's fing you know what I mean? He's, to be a stranger. He's mm -hmm. knuckle deep in your boss. People <laughs> do come to LA for ass, but not that type of ass. No, no, no. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Love is in the air. It is spring. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. Yes, oh no, that's the smell of shit. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I gotta pee and then we'll move on. We got all lots of other fun stuff to get to here. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it. So I'll be right back. And uh, we'll pick it up from there. Beautiful. Somebody said the idea of being close to family is so weird to me, and I kinda agree. I like I can't I don't I never had an uncle that I would or aunt that I was super close to. Hmm. Oh no, this uncle, he's he's the man. Like hmm. every doctor I know for the most part is a douche, except for him, <laughs> he's like super humble. Cause he, he had a really tough upbringing, him and hmm. my dad. And uh, yeah, he's just really kind. Like in high school when I, uh, no sorry, college, I had a physics class I was having trouble with. He bought the textbook and he'd be working like 20 hour shifts at the hospital. He'd come home and study the textbook so that he could teach it to me. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. that's next level. That is like a parent. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Are we gonna get to meet him? I hope so. Yeah. Me too. I hope so. Yeah. Is he close to you in age? No, no, he's no. older. Yeah, he's he's older than my dad. He's oh, okay. my dad's the the youngest. Yeah. I think he's like fifty two now, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And keep startling me. <laughs> Jump scare. My camera is much closer today because uh, Hawk is next to me and we were trying to mm. separate mm. the shots. So uh, <laughs> kind of scary. Um, got a bunch of donos that I don't think we've gotten to at all yet today. So let's see. Is this today? No, this is yesterday. Today, Bella Simmons. Only Bella. one hairline king of YouTube and it's Ethan. $50. Thank you so much, Bella. Thank You're right. you. Uh, Riley Lynn. Shout out to Ethan for being so open about mental health and medications. Zoloff changed my life and I was afraid to consider yeah. meds before hearing him talk about it. Have you heard the counter argument from Jordan Peterson that <laughs> pharmaceuticals do not work? <laughs> Have you heard? I, I would consider. like to add to that, by the way, that um, I've been taking it for years now and I take it also through pregnancy. So um, I want people to know that you can do that. <laughs> Be safe, huh? Yeah, when I switched, um, we had to switch our insurance somewhat recently, and when I switched it, there there was a doctor that was trying to tell me that I need to stop it when I'm pregnant. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't align with anything other doctors have told me huh. so far and everything that I read. And then I, I asked another doctor, and they said, yeah, that is completely not correct, and you should not listen to that. You got a bogus doctor. Wow. Yeah, so I never uh, saw them again. Huh. Yeah, that's scary. I think mm -hmm. we get something like and that. And she was telling me that I should just stop it. And I was what? like, that is like against any advice yeah, that I've always horrible. heard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to anyone that is Sheesh. wondering if they can take it while they're pregnant, you can. Wow. This is already my <laughs> second pregnancy taking it. Beautiful. This, this is the only day I can wear green. So I'm <laughs> flaunting the sick ass set. <laughs> oh. Is that. Mm -hmm. Did I just see the camera glitch out? Anybody yeah. else see that? 
Ian. Oh, oh, will stutter. Oh. Can you see me? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah no, we're, we're seeing your moves. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not happening. Too naughty. Yeah. Uh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Cool pocket. Those. That fabric is so comfortable. <laughs> right? It's I crazy. love it. Oh yeah, you rock the pants. Yeah, you said you're not. You don't feel adventure enough for the shirt. Yeah, I was telling Ethan that having a mm. full suit or mm -hmm. like. Well, you uh, don't have to wear it all together. No, no. True. Uh, seeing the shirt now, I want the that shirt. Too, is but, sick. It's yeah. like super. Um, you're gonna look so cool. I love that. it. Yeah. I it's love very this adventurous fabric. to have a yeah. top love and it. bottom yeah. piece. Well, uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna come reset your camera real quick, because it is oh, he, doing well, some I wanted, weirdness. I wanted to add, I've mm. been on Lexapro for 25 days now. Oh yes. my God, 25 How days. is it going? That shit works. Yeah. I haven't had so like anxiety in like five days. It's so weird. That sounds wow. amazing, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm I so mean, happy to hear. It's great, it's great so far. That's a, And did that the nauseous feelings and stuff go away? Yeah, the, uh, the nausea went away after like maybe four days my mm. first four days i was pretty nauseous but then that went away nice that's tremendous mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's awesome that's really great what's your dosage 10 five. Oh, you never went above five no well, um, it's i haven't how had they have you yet, started so i haven't dosed up yet mm, yeah i see i see you do it after cool. a month that's yeah. great isn't it weird that it's such a weird thing like you don't feel it you're not really it's aware very of subtle it. like the change is very subtle but well, it's like you just you feel just, more normal. I feel like for me, it's just like I just stop being anxious. Like mm -hmm. I don't think about it. It's just it's right. weird. I feel the same. Mm -hmm. Just I don't get into these like anxious Loops. spirals. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Jordan Peterson, however, disagrees. Mm -hmm. Fuck all. There's no such thing as useful medicine. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> right there we go. Fine. I could actually watch more of that. I know. I think that's a little risky. I think it's a little <laughs> risky, Bucky. When I put the goddamn key in the ignition, the truck started. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's when he said, hey, here, let me see. You explain it, because... Is this the... I can't remember which ones we watched. Because the leftists should have been the ones that were most skeptical about the bloody pharmaceutical companies. And they jumped on the vaccine bandwagon in exactly the same way that you're doing right Pharmaceutical now. Pharmaceutical companies have helped us tremendously yeah, throughout the Right, there we go. Fine. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. You're just wrong. <laughs> They're you're utterly wrong. I see. So you don't think that the pharmaceutical companies who dominate the advertising landscape with 75% of the funding are corrupt? I mean, so I agree. It's fu I hate the medical advertising, but mm -hmm. like that doesn't mean they're corrupt. <laughs> it yeah. just means that that's like a big statement. They're just trying to sell a lot of their. Well, and even if they're corrupt, the that the doesn't mean the medicine doesn't do, work. Do their products do what they say they do, right? Like right. that's that's yeah. Most that's of the time, most, important well, most of the time, yes. Right. No, no. And specifically, does the vaccine work? Which all of the data yes. shows it absolutely no. fucking does. But I guess Jordan disagrees. Well, if you ask Myron, that's what me and Destiny have in common. <laughs> that you're vaccinated. We're both right? vaccinated. <laughs> right, that's what he said. Not True. particularly. We have so much in common. We've, We've both, both been vaccinated. vaccinated for COVID-19. Uh, <laughs> shit. I don't know what else. <laughs> We're linked. Corrupt is a Corrupt. very broad... No, 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 no it's... Do you, think that, do you think that pharmacy, corrupt do you think with they, a tinge of malevolence, do you think willing that, <laughs> to extract money out of people by putting their health on the line? Do you, you don't think believe that, we, that? Do you think that we get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies? Not particularly. <laughs> that, that's the best part. Like, he's so angry. Why? He's so angry. Like, bro, why did you say it like that? He has fallen crossbones on his fucking yeah. wrist. Yes, I know. Like, it looks like a one-piece that, flat. That, that's, how, <laughs> that's how he views um, aspirin. <laughs> he thinks it's all poison. We get effective drugs from pharmaceutical companies. Not particularly. <laughs> You got that one, Zach? Not particularly. <laughs> He's so angry. You're angry, bro. Particularly. Okay. Okay. Do you, so do you think that any vaccines work? Yes. Yes! Do you think that any... I don't think 80 of them work. At once. For babies. What? I, I think that's a little risky. <laughs> but, but yet we've been on this vaccine schedule for how many decades? Like and babies this. Don't... Like this. <laughs> Not like this. Not...
but there are um, there are like stuff that went away because of <coughs> vaccines, like um, polio, polio, smallpox, yeah, smallpox, horrible diseases, yeah. So how can horrific you say that? Horrific diseases that like uh, horrific. <laughs> like how, how can we not horrific. agree on that? Because yeah. that's just like simple. Well, I thought knowledge. we all did until the thing is they they have this luxury of not having their kids die and be permanently scarred and uh. Just absolutely devastated see, by smallpox. And did you see that there was a guy who just died who had polio and had lived in an iron lung since he was like nine years old and he oh. just died at like 87. Yeah, I did. The see man that. lived like eight decades in an iron lung. That is what vaccines have prevented and people like Jordan. Not like, bloody not likely. In. Fucking insane. Because he, he, he's grown up with the privilege of a time when Having, the vaccines yeah. saved him and his whole generation from having to confront these horrible, horrible yeah. realities. But now that it's a distant memory, he goes, that shit doesn't work. I want Not my grandchildren to grow up with polio and smallpox. Don't you know, hard times make hard men. Like my kids this. need to grow up with polio and smallpox. <laughs> I'm like sick of this. these soft men with vaccines, whatever bloody those are. I need those tums. You believe in this shit? The, the chocolate is already in. <laughs> Tums? Do you believe in Tums? Carefully. You're rude. I had a ton of vaccines when I was a child. I'm pretty sure that was the norm for people. There were a ton of vaccines. You had to There's take way more too. now. I don't think that's true. Okay. No? <laughs> I, well, I was just trying to look because he said 80, which just like obviously no. he's being hyperbolic, but I'm trying to see how many we get. Not that it matters. Like it's, well, it's fine. When you say you 80, because a lot of vaccines you have to do three times or so. Right. Because you're time. counting three for each. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to like suss out right now. There's definitely like, not 80 vaccines. Like. There's no fucking way. There's less than 10, I would say. Yeah. I would say about five, six, maybe. More than that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like of total a diseases dozen. vaccinated against. I think it would be more than 10. Well, I mean, it's no. easy to find out. Yeah, yeah I think I'm looking that's a on. Risky. Uh, I'm looking on some websites. Is he right talking now. about? It says in general, your kids will get more than 50 shots before they enter adulthood. Is that, that it? That makes sense because Before you have to get multiple adult, shots for each. Right. right. Some of them are like a two-parter. You, you have to go back. He's saying baby. Did you explain 80, it. Because 80 80 the left is should like be the newborns. ones that... Just immediately. That's no, that's crazy. Vaccine. I mean, no, we go through that right now so I can tell you. It's very like... It's a couple. It's like a couple here, three there. It's at, at different age stages too. So like a one-year-old, they go and get like maybe four. And then, I don't know. But the doctors say it's better to do it all at once, because and you know, like, look, as a parent of the, of a young child, you're like, you don't want to put your kid through any kind of discomfort or risk or anything. But like, you know, I trust the fucking doctors, and especially it's not like an experimental, like like uh, Destiny was saying. Um, we've been doing this regimen for like seventy years. This is not fucking experimental science. Um, Kate Middleton has cancer. I just did a Wendy Williams. <laughs> 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 anyway, no, but actually, I I say this so that should she uh, suffer? All these fu I. Oh, people are such assholes. Why? Like, just because there was like so much speculation and conspiracy theory and all the kinds of mean stuff being said, and then she's like, "Yeah, I have cancer, <laughs> assholes." What were people saying about her? Well, there was like a big story about her uh, photoshopping of pictures. She had been out of the public for a long time. Okay. So people were doing all kinds of crazy speculations about. What was that? Whatever. I don't. And know. replaced by a clone. Yeah. I, just, I still no. believe that. Oh. Dude, Prince William's about to become. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, William. He's about to become like a vigilante towards the uh, media after what they did to his wife, his mother. Like he's had to deal with this shit his whole life. It's it's fucked. Huh. Well, that's why the other dude left. Right. Mm -hmm. The redheaded. Harry. Todger? Harry Todger? Mm. Anyway, though, that sucks. Uh, I, I yeah, can't no imagine. Sucks. She's so young with all these young kids. I mean, it's just horrible. Yeah. Cancer is such a fucking asshole, bitch. Hate that shit. Idiot, loser. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Didn't we just find out that the king also has cancer? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, man, that's horrible. Let's something, run in the family. something in the water. Charles. A hawk, there's love for you on the subreddit. The hawk has landed. Mm -hmm. Here you are with <laughs> 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 the heart drawn on your face. Because the leftist should have
Yeah, I'm looking for more Jordan Peterson clips here. Let's see. Here's clip two. Not bloody likely. Up the You're nose. in a position uh, to evaluate the scientific credibility. The, I want, want to make sure we got to today. Uh, oh, you wanted this follow-up about the Brian Peck. It certainly Peck wasn't. Dude. Say what? The Brian Peck dude. You were asking for yeah. follow-up on that? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> we got some. We we do. Thanks, Dan. What is it not ready? <laughs> Me and Olivia both looked at each other. <laughs> no, we just it's. I mean, I don't know. It's it's a lot, and it's. I don't know if it's. We don't have to talk. Kind about of it, a bummer. Know. Yeah, but let's maybe let's continue with the let's silly the goofy okay. stuff. Yeah, it's Friday, baby. It's well, Friday. Baby. Monday I for agree. child abuse because nobody likes Mondays anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we save Monday, time. baby. Yeah. What, there's a new Jordan soundbite uh, somebody said. What is this? And only the left that stampeded toward the forced COVID, COVID vaccine um, um, debacle. <laughs> debacle. Wait, that was certainly wasn't that only the left that stampeded toward the forced COVID, COVID vaccine <laughs> um, um, debacle. Debacle. Man, debacle. get the shit. You sound like Joe Biden, man. Wake uh. up. <laughs> I will say, though, um, real quick, about Brian Peck. While we were alive, there was a new update of someone else accusing him. There's mm -hmm. a new allegation. Yeah, no. So I was curious. We were talking about him. Yeah. And I was like, how is this guy only got 16 months of prison? Yeah. And then he went to go work for Disney when he got out. And then all these people wrote him these, like, shining letters of endorsement in yeah. court. I just wanted more info. That's right. it. I want to know who's the judge. I want to know what the judge says. I want to know what the letters said. I want to know who wrote the letters. Because there needs to be some accountability for these people. These people need to face yeah. the music that they, uh, you know. It's easy for us all to sit around and be like, yeah, this shit sucks. But, like, here's a group of people who enabled him out there in the public who sat in and literally enabled this guy who should still be in prison. And has probably abused other children since mm -hmm. coming out. I mean, just as a matter of pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was at the same uh, time as Brian Singer, right? Oh, they, they were worked friends. together. They did. So that's which, another. Here, let me. Okay, let me. Which do this. gets like so much darker. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get. To so you guys don't. So I've talked about Brian Singer. He's was a pretty big director. He did. X-Men movies. He even did as recently, his most recent one was uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And he is like a disgusting monster. Like, straight up. There's, the there's, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of information about things he's done. There's documentaries. He, he's traumatized people for their whole life, basically. Allegedly, he used to have these parties mm -hmm. where young boys would come and he would give yeah. them drugs and stuff. Uh, allegedly. I remember seeing that in that documentary we yeah. watched. Uh, but Brian Peck, this guy, he actually did, not only were they friends, he also did director's commentary for X-Men 2 with Brian Singer. How does that even make sense? He's Wait, a speech the coach. dialect coach? Brian Peck. He's also a voice actor as well. So. well it's, yeah. But like, why the fuck would he do the director commentary with Brian Singer? He's like a low on the totem, isn't he? Well, what... I mean, generally, a dialect coach is fairly low on the totem pole, yeah. Uh, but what was his role on X Men? That's that's too. what I'm curious about. He must surely he must have had a big role on that one. Isn't that vile? What's with Brian's? <laughs> <laughs> What's with Brian? We got to anyway. do something about these Brian's, man. If your name's Brian out there, out in the audience. Check yourself. This is why Jordan wants to outlaw vaccines, by the way, because of this mathematical equation. We need strong men. <laughs> We need children growing up with smallpox to be strong, All right. to create good times. But then the good times create weak men. <laughs> X2, new, he's credited as news reporter. <laughs> Dude, there is no fucking explanation for Wait, why that man. Where is the man... source on this claim that he did the director's? That makes no fucking sense. I mean, Who's it's X? on a video. Where's the video? X. X Men 2. X. X, Somebody X. said, have you all seen the video of Brian Peck and young Leo DiCaprio? No. Should we take a look? I'll find it. Yeah, I'll look Leonardo on Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Why do you have that? Why not? Brian Peck. He was at a cool party with him, don't you remember? Oh, right, right. <laughs> Brian Peck, Leo DiCaprio. Oh, that's the second result. Oh, okay. Here it is. Oh, God. DiCaprio. <laughs> all right. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? I remember that movie. 
I'll tell you that much. But, uh, you know, I had some teen following. Who do I look like? <laughs> Oh, an open secret. That's the movie I saw that I. Oh, that's the one about Brian Singer, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess our boy Brian Peck made a little cameo. Mm. Oh God. Okay. Right, oh, yeah, uh, Ricky Schroeder. This one. Yeah. Then we can. Yeah, Young River Phoenix. Stardom started early for Leonardo. That dude has been famous for so long. That's fucked yeah. up. Surprised that he's like. Well, he does seem pretty fucked up since mm -hmm. his girlfriends don't age. Mm -hmm. However. <laughs> He's not dead, mm -hmm. which is kind of impressive, I think. By the time he was hired at 16 to star with TV's biggest teen star, Kirk Cameron, on the hit show Grow. Kirk Cameron of now the banana fame. <laughs> Dude, ah, oh, these fuck, all these child stars, man. Kirk Cameron, he. Who's that? He's the guy who says banana is proof that God exists. Really? Oh, that guy? Or he was next to him. He goes, the banana. Yeah, that it's video. It's curved. It's a perfect shape. You unpeel it. God's perfect creation. We should watch it because people probably don't know. Kurt the video. So he was the biggest actor at the time. Well, hold on. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? Mm -mm. God's, it's called, um, it's called, oh, it's such a funny it's title. It's funny. It's um, Atheist Nightmare. <laughs> the banana. <laughs> Fucking hold it on. You guys are gonna love this. Wait, where is it? Where is it? I think I have. I'm just buying it first. Da -da. Sitting is the opposite of standing. Here it is. All right, you guys ready to blow your minds? You're about. To, if you don't believe in God, you will after this. Here is uh, dear Kurt Cameron. Oh God, look how blurry. Oh, the atheist's <coughs> nightmare. Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side there are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side, there are three grooves. On the close side, two grooves. <laughs> the banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. <laughs> you'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. It has outward indicators Tesla. of inward contents. Green, <laughs> too early. You, yellow, <laughs> just right. Black, too late. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top. Sody so pop. God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find the wrapper, which is biodegradable, Ew. has perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. Notice it has a point at the top for ease Graceful. of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. It's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process so much easier. Seriously, Kurt, the whole of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative heart. Oh, it absolutely so, yeah, does. So that's that's their <laughs> proof. Uh, God, the banana is the atheist nightmare. <laughs> ah, I love this video so much. So was so he's serious. Oh, this is 100% serious. 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 Oh yeah, no, this is of all of the fruits you could pick. You pick the man-made one. That I, that's are, <laughs> there's so many things there's to so disprove. There's so many it. other edible things in the world that you could have chosen. Yeah, so the the irony is bananas in the wild look nothing like this. These were selectively uh, bred by human beings. That yeah. look like that. Too funny. Also, in the wild, monkey <laughs> like when you see monkeys opening bananas, yeah. they open it from the back. They don't open it from the top. And as anyone who's eaten bananas knows, sometimes you open from the top and it doesn't work and it ruins the banana. Yeah. Where's God's miracle now, idiot? So true. Did he say it prevents the squirting of the banana? Yes, it doesn't squirt in your face. You <laughs> and said. I know never, exactly ever, what he means. Never had a wet fucking <laughs> banana. What? Well, what does that mean? because God's because bro, thank God for that. <laughs> a wet banana. You've never got a banana cream pie. <laughs> yeah. Big ups gone. Uh, yeah, this is this is uh, one of my favorite That's videos. Beautiful. Uh, even I. This came out when I was like a kid, and I was like, oh my God, there's no God. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I was like, holy shit, this is the best they've got. <laughs> this is the fucking banana theory. This is one of those uh, old school videos that Ethan used to show me. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Classic. I, I, there was like, I saw an atheist guy, I forget who said it, but they were reacting to this. And he goes, uh, yeah, the banana is fits perfectly in our mouth. You know where else it fits? It perfectly fits our butt. <laughs> okay. How do we know God didn't uh, intend for us to put it there? Well, some people probably take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, back to um, the youngest child actor. 
growing pains in 1991, he'd already been acting. You know, it's funny. They say the banana is the atheist nightmare. But you know what I say is the theologist nightmare? Brian Peck. For real. There's fucking people raping kids. Why did God do that? Riddle me that, God. Why is he out there working on bananas and he's putting Brian Peck and pecking and, and pecking range of children? Religious people will say because he turned his back on God. That's the devil. But God created the devil. Yeah. <laughs> but also gave us free will. That's, that's the, the argument. But, yeah, but if he's all powerful and has designed the whole universe, he knows the outcome of every decision we make. It's true. Uh, yeah. Checkmate. I'm sure no <laughs> theologists have ever considered that. I know they have, Dan, but, but <laughs> Davey's right. They say uh, free will to test, let humans live their experience and uh, make their own decisions. Yeah. But however... He's chill like that. However... Chill like that. He's like, homie, do whatever you want. Then God, tell me this. Why do you ha give children cancer? Why do you do that? You didn't need to do that. God's banana? They're evil, bro. What did the child do to get, you know, assaulted by Brian Peck? What choice did that kid make? Obviously. None. So there you go. Banana yeah. or Brian Peck? Checkmate. Hmm. Fuck Brian Peck. I gotta, Check I, Peckmate. Is that what you said? No, but I Peck wish mate. I did. <laughs> Peckmate. <laughs> That'd be Peck real good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be like a so, cringy atheist, but... This whole uh, Brian Peck's association with Brian Singer and the X-Men movies is really baffling me because it does, we said, it said the second X-Men movie, I think it's the first that he was on the director's commentary. And as a, the thing that I'm seeing is that as a producer of the film, but he's not listed as a producer on IMDb. And, or really have much, like he has a couple producing credits, but not, dude, very they're, extensive. It, the whole thing is very strange. They're obviously dogs. Yeah. Which is No, I fucked. agree, but I'm just trying to think, like, what was even the justification for that dude to be there? Sounds like Brian... have to do with None. I think Similar Brian interests. Singer was just like, yeah, this is my boy. And he has a cameo in both the first and the second one as just, like, extras. Which, I mean, producers sometimes, you know, they will have a cameo, so maybe he was a producer on it? Me not on his IMDb page, though. I mean, he's next to Stan Lee in his cameo in the second one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, there's some legitimacy to this, yeah. but I, I can't figure out what the hell he had to do with these movies. Me and my boy, we're about to go cast some boy... Um... <laughs> Pedophile jokes, for? anyone? What are you going for? <laughs> yeah. Is it me and my boy, we're going to go cast some boys <laughs> in our movies? Got it. Yeah. The dogs, whatever. For more than 10 years, he starred in commercials and the kids' show Romper Room before landing on the sitcom. And he was an on the set <laughs> cut up from the start. I know we can show him a little drawing. almost do a spit take there? Oh, you see him? Almost, yeah. <laughs> we draw drawings of each other. <coughs> Brian is, that is him? the famous artist, and we That's always him. make fun of each other and portray each other in silly, satirical ways. Leo's job on this set, for some reason, is to make fun of me all day long. Okay. Oh, I don't like their closeness yeah. at all. That just like made my skin there's crawl. There's upbeat, upbeat music playing, though, Ethan. Oh, my God. Uh, what show is this? Here's my best friend on set. Way uh, too touchy. What is this TV show? Uh, it's gross. Uh, it, uh, yeah, said it, but I can't remember. Growing pain. Yeah, oh, growing, no, was this Gil growing, growing Pains. Pains. Got it. Growing man, that Gilbert. one was so fucking boring, man. I hated that show. Yeah, he. You know why they call it growing pains? Because he. It's All a, right. Nope. Because nope. When, no, it's not that nope. vulgar. It's not uh, that vulgar. Uh, I was matter. gonna say because when they grow up, it's painful. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's that's, that's a much I was, better. Joke. I wasn't gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. It is painful for Brian Peck when. Uh, yeah, he grow. hates to see him grow up. Gotcha. Just, and 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 that and Leo's inherited that trait, incidentally, yeah. uh, with his girlfriend. Mm. One of the most disturbing lines I found from his letters of support. Um, James Marsden, the actor. Ela, do you know who that is? Which one? We were talking about it on Monday. He you do. was he was in that show Jury Duty that came out. He was literally nominated for an Emmy this year. Some like oh. big actor. He Wait, what's wrote, his last name? James Marsden is his Oh, name. James Marsden. You you'll recognize him. The quote from his letter is let me grab it. It's so horrible. And he was thirty when he oh, wrote it, right? Okay, okay. 
So it he, says, it's this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I assure you what Brian has been through in the last year is the suffering of a hundred men. Uh -huh. I don't intend to victimize Brian, nor would I ever wish that, but I do feel compelled to shed light on the fact that he has <laughs> learned his lesson. I guarantee you the earth would fall from the sky before Brian would even think about doing something like this again. Oh this is God. this is a man talking kidding? about a dude who raped a How old was he when he wrote that? Or even a child. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was a teenager. Make sure I... He was in his 30s. We did some math. Yeah. He did? I think That's he was 30. Crazy. I think. In 2003, James Marsden was about 30 years old. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. I, I, think he should, I think he needs to answer. I think he needs to explain. Yeah. I think he does What too. did he mean by that? What yeah. did he mean by that? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, he... Yeah. Did he, he understand their association? Did they work on a project together? Like, why is James Marsden going out on a limb for this... That, like how close do you need to be to someone to be like, okay, I'll write you a letter of support to for the child rapist like you need to be you really be close. close. That's not <laughs> yeah. That's not asking your buddy to help you move You know, which is which is pretty close too, frankly. You gotta be pretty close. To yeah, ask, but, but this is a whole nother He had level. known him since he was a teenager mm. He had known him since he was a teenager. Okay Really sad. I you would know, need to hear from what's him. going on there then to be honest. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah here, one more time. Show a little drawing. Saying you suffer a hundred men suffering is so gross. It's such to a me. weird statement. The, the, the way they're touching each other in this makes my skin yes. crawl. Yeah. We don't have to watch it again. I do want to. I mean, I want to Why? just because <laughs> it's so vile and uh, interesting. Also, uh, but I'm, I like to analyze it. I don't. I think what's happening is he's. This is grooming, right? He's made it yeah, that this touchy feely thing yeah. part of their relationship. Yeah, you know, and he's a he's a child. He thinks he's just uh, bonding just, with an adult. He doesn't know otherwise. He so thinks he's being like an adult. To him. Yeah, yeah. You see, we draw drawings of each other. <laughs> Brian is the famous artist, and we always make fun of each other and portray each other in silly satirical ways. Leo's job on this set, for some reason, is to make fun of me all day long. Okay, so here we have. Robert De Niro, right there. See Robert? From the beginning, Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio was destined to be a spirited boy. He received his first name after swiftly kicking his mother from her womb as she admired a Leonardo da Vinci painting. Born in Los Angeles on November 11th, 1974. Is that, uh, yeah. I don't know if there's more, mm -hmm. but. Dude, I hate that guy. Holy shit. Yeah. <sighs> That's my man, Brian Peck. The charges were so heinous of what he did to um, Drake Bell that I really? couldn't even read it on air. I mean, it's right here. And then these people came and supported him. I mean, if you want, if you're curious, mm -hmm. I highlighted it. Okay. <laughs> the judge seems to be Judge Michael Hoff. He retired in 2008. Brian Peck was able to isolate and gain act. Okay, I'm not I'm Drake's experience. Blah blah blah. Um, the blue is basically what was described in the documentary between him and Drake. Yeah, I don't want to read that part. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, that's just horrible, yeah. Um, Brian Peck, Letters of Support. So was he the only famous guy who, who wrote one? No. No, that's just... Oh, Alan Thick. Wait, he's was. also famous, right? Who the fuck? Alan Thick. Uh, oh, this guy? This guy's dead, isn't he? He's like the Wheel of Fortune guy, isn't he? Or I don't know. Some old No. Guy. Pat You're thinking Sajak? Pat Sajak, and he uh, is so alive. No, he's with her. <laughs> he's Dare so say living. that about Pat Sajak. <laughs> every it's crazy. Seven thing p.m. To say. every night. Like he, I don't know. What you're okay, okay, about. okay, okay, okay. Alan Thicke is dead, by the way. You are sorry. But he well, had rest to in do with piss, him. idiot. No, I don't know, oh. but he was on Growing Pains as well. Alan Thicke said, "Dear Judge Hoff, I am writing." Whoops. Thank God this has all been unsealed. By the way. Um, I'm writing to express my estimation of Brian Peck as an honorable, respectable, intelligent human being who apparently made a gigantic mistake, mm. which will haunt him for life. What? So you're acknowledging he had sex that with a child. Happened? Yeah, he, this is as he's already been guilty. He's uh -huh. been found guilty, and they're writing and letters they're writing. to go lenient on him. Wow. The, the documentary highlighted that like a lot of the letters just talked about like he obviously <coughs> must have been tempted to like a point of like no return. Like a oh lot of them God. were just so victim blaming, that? so nasty. That's like oh crazy. God. To say. 
Um, I am honored to be regularly included in lists of America's favorite TV dads, an identity that I proudly will exploit to uh, enable this predator. What? To... <laughs> I made that part up. But he that did say America's favorite did TV not dad. Bust out the I'm a TV dad. He did. He said I am honored to be regularly included in lists of America's favorite TV dads. Therefore, it is my and my authority. <laughs> The <laughs> like, you, well, Brian Peck. Martin Sheen is going to launch the nukes. Let me ask As, you, as America's yeah, Cosby, favorite Cosby, fake president, right. Cosby I have, was uh, a, decided that we will be nuking Russia. All right, Alan Vick, let me ask you this. As America's favorite TV dad, would you let Brian Peck babysit your kids? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck America's is that? favorite TV dad since Cosby. Why, <laughs> yeah, why, right. should, um, why should the <laughs> court even accept letters? Like, who cares? This is a common thing of like a char character testaments to try to. Yeah, inflict. but like, if this is what it allows. Well, if it's about child rape, then yeah, mm -hmm. nobody should care. But the judge only gave him 16 months for that. It's crazy. It's like it's well, beyond crazy. It's just this guy could have yeah. been the best person in the world, the best boss, your best friend, and he still did that. So mm -hmm. why do I care about your letter? You know what I mean? Well, the judge like, was influenced so apparently because he only get like. Uh, it's, you either did it or you didn't. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anything else in your life doesn't matter. Totally. And these letters, <coughs> they're not like pretending like it didn't take place. No. They're like, acknowledging it. And Here, it's like I'm, they're still writing so this. So weird. I am convinced Brian will make a second chance last a lifetime. And I trust you will consider the people who have known him and hold him in high regard when you contemplate his pleasure. I can't, I, I can't fathom oh. talking about ripping a child. Yeah, nope. As like as something like, that's like he 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 made a mistake. We understand, but yeah. he won't do it again. Like, Holy there, shit! I, I guess I don't know how this process works. It, um, I know that that case was sealed in some way, right? Yes, it was. Is there some plausible scenario where these people did not know any of the details of what the case was? I so, doubt it. I mean, I doubt it too. But I'm just like trying to understand why anybody would like go on the record. Like like mm -hmm. you're saying, it's just so absurd. Yeah, the way they're I talking don't know. about Be, it. At their level of fame, they have to have attorneys as well who are advising them. Like they sure, for sure had to know the details. I think they they, they okay. probably I, thought yeah. it would never be unsealed. So Maybe. Marsden, Strong, and Friedel, three people who wrote letters, they didn't immediately respond for requests when people contacted them because the documentary unsealed. Like they talked about unsealing the docs for mm -hmm. the documentary, and um, it says. Strong and Friedel, though, previously addressed their letters on their podcast called Pod Meets World. And mm. Friedel said that Peck had in ingratiated himself in his life and that he had turned them against the victim by misrepresenting the charges. He, he added that looking back now, he believes <coughs> that he was sitting in the courtroom on the wrong side of everything. Mm. Okay, good. Yeah. I want that. I expect that statement from everybody. Me too. Yeah. I would like to hear that. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Ryder Strong wrote this letter. Uh, Ryder Strong. American oh. actor, producer, director, and screenwriter, best known for starring as Sean Hunter on Boy Meets World. Mm. Oh, oh, I know who you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, guy. Shit, I didn't recognize him. Damn. That's the brother, right? Or no, the brother. The best friend. Oh, the best friend. That's right. That's right. I first met Brian Peck when he came to work on the ABC situational comedy. What? Who wrote like that? Situation comedy. I had been starring <laughs> in since I was thirteen. Brian joined our crew and instantly brightened up the set with intelligence, wit, and good humor. Brian and I quickly developed a strong friendship outside of work. Uh, gross. He said he was thirteen. And merged our close circles of friends. Brian is you one of the funniest your people. Circle of friends, your thirteen-year-old circle. Yeah, what? Of friends? What? Dude, he, must the, have, he must have been older at this point. Otherwise, well, that's a fucking. No, hold on. He said, "I met him." Oh no, sorry, you're right. He says I was in the show since I was thirteen. Because that show ran for fucking ever, so okay, he may okay. have been older. <laughs> well, hold on. It's okay that he raped a child because here, listen to this paragraph. Brian is undoubtedly one of the funniest people I've ever met. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Have we considered that the vibes funny? were good? Listen, <laughs> this, this, this makes it me was wonder. A joke. Your Honor, he oh, was funny. What he did was a joke. <laughs> was a joke. He was this... joking. He was just trying to make good, time, good soft men hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's this. Uh, I'm not gonna. There's a lot to unpack there. He's having a big joke. It makes me wonder if if he was potentially a victim as well. You know, because like for example, in the Michael Jackson case. The Leaving Neverland uh, guy, the, the gentleman um, who made the documentary, he was the lead defense for Michael in his 2005 case. So, 
I know that that sometimes that that's a, a symptom where victims will defend whoever. Uh, yeah. Mm, true. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, I think it's especially true of someone like Michael Jackson. Wait, Al, Al, uh, Alan Thick is Robin Thick's dad. That's it was, weird. It was Robin. What? He's just he had like that one guy's hit. A creeper too. He was the guy who did the. Uh, creepers, man. What's going on in the Thick household? <laughs> I was extra. Okay, here he talks about it. Um. I was extremely disturbed to learn of Brian's arrest. Maliciousness is so antithetical to his nature. It is impossible for me to comprehend a situation that will lead him to do something illegal or even inappropriate. Okay. I immediately called him and offered whatever support I could. Of course, Brian being Brian, he had already received numerous such calls. It's like, it is impossible for me to imagine. Okay, go think about it, you know, like, go yeah. spend some time thinking about it. Yeah. Someone says on the podcast on Pod Meets World, uh, they said they didn't know all the details of the case. Yeah, I'm just Bro, that's from a comment. In chat, that's so, crazy yeah. to me that they that a judge would allow them to write, yeah, a letter of endorsement without knowing the details. I mean, he was for sure already found guilty of, you know, child abuse. To the Honorable Michael Hoff, who wrote this masterpiece. Yeah, I mean. They would have known about because like I could understand if you're good friends with this guy and he's really well liked by by everyone around and everything uh, because he probably is a manipulative. Yeah, that's common with right. the, these right. pedophiles. That that you know you could you could just be in such disbelief. It's just like no, Brian would never do that kind of thing or whatever. But like this wasn't right when they found out this was. After a whole trial, which presumably is like years late, and these kind of mm. things take years, so you'd think you'd have time to process that at that point. That, mm -hmm. like, wow, really did that shit, huh? This letter is from the lovely Joanna Kearns, American actress, back uh, and director, best known for her role as Maggie Seaver on Family Situ Growing Pains. So you got the whole crew, the whole Growing Pains crew. Yeah, uh, I mean, from their perspective. He probably was like a well-liked member of the team on that show and they all and, you know it sounds like they all thought he was like a funny guy and charming and everything and um like you said i mean predators oftentimes are that's how they like i mean yeah because they got to manipulate the parents they got to right. manipulate the child they got to get close to the family mm -hmm. you know this is huh pretty psycho behavior you have to be good at it yeah yeah um I am confident that if the court grants Brian probation, he will not let them down. He's a good man that made a mistake. How can they refer to this as a mistake? <laughs> not a bad yeah. man who got caught. <sighs> Brian, on his own initiative, has spent many hours in counseling, and I am sure that this is a much healthier and productive rehab rehabilitation than jail time. This is crazy, dude. Holy smokes. Um, Will, this one's from Will Friedel. Friedel, yeah, yeah also he's, from Boys Me Twelve. Yeah, he's uh, one of the people from the podcast. Will oh, okay. Friedel, what character was he? I'm typing it in. He's the brother. That is the brother. Got it. Friedel is the one with the quote that says that he thinks that he was sitting on the wrong side of the courtroom. Mm. Friedel me this, Batman. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. He was in Batman Beyond. <laughs> um, there was uh, Beth Coral. Beth Dempsey Coral. Corel. There's so many letters. Yeah, he got a lot. I don't even think this is all of them. Like, if I'm a judge, that's a red flag. <laughs> all these letters. I mean, in Hollywood, they're probably <laughs> What's going used on to, here? In Hollywood, they're probably used to this shit. I mean, it's almost a template. They're like, this is me. True. This is the show I was on. And this person is great. I'm sure they see this all the time with directors. I mean, it is insane. I agree with you. As a... Yeah. <laughs> dear judge, I actually play a judge on a television show. <laughs> and therefore, I feel qualified to let you know that you should put him... Give him probation. <laughs> she... Um, by the way, yeah, Beth Corral. Uh, Corral. <clears throat> she... Uh, and her husband both worked for Drake and Josh and Sweet Life of mm. Zach and Cody. So she's, so okay, great. So she says, Those are different shows. Wait, why is this not filled in? It's like circle. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, it's like two the two brothers, the two sets of brothers. Shows, huh? 
Yeah. Wow, yeah. So apparently... They redacted this one? Because it's like, it's white. I met yeah. blank and it's circled. I think they redacted it. Hmm. Um, I met Brian in 1997. We worked together nonstop until August. Blah, blah, blah. He was on set. Yada, yada, yada. I must admit that I was surprised to learn of his behavior after hearing of this case hmm. and the charges being brought against Brian. Nothing seemed to change in him at all. On set... He continued to be playful with other cast members and crew. Oh, he was on. always talking about his band and music and appeared to be excited about the future, the show, and his musical career. He even moved into his own apartment. Wow, what is he especially like? What the fuck? <laughs> he even, wait, We're yeah, so proud of him. We're so <laughs> proud of Brian for being take band and music. Uh, on more than one occasion while watching her son perform on set, redacted, redacted, uh, Robin, the mother, would say to me, look at him. I'm so proud of how mature and responsible he is. About him? Why do they treat him like he's... Or about the child. Is maybe? He... This say one's it. This confusing. Say it, Dan. I, I don't know. I mean, contextually, that sure does sound like he even got his own apartment. It sounds like he uh, was not... Say it. Say it. <laughs> stop, stop saying Do it, it like that. <laughs> say what? Spit it out. Because <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> Gooch says, girl. Uh, it seems like he may uh, have been um, developmentally uh, challenged in some way. Yeah, and we're, we're very proud it of It was some accomplishment that... Oh, that's a had, huge uh, assumption, though, just based on this one letter. That one letter is also very confusing. Saying he even got his own... Again, if that's... that's why really is this weird. guy on the X-Men director's commentary? I'm still so lost. Because Brian Singer really was so proud of him. <laughs> he got his own XX... He got his own uh, <laughs> apartment. Taryn, kill him. I think that letter is not about him, you guys. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're talking about, okay. They're talking about Drake. They're talking about Drake. That makes uh, way more sense. Yeah. That makes well, this album's t yeah. way more <laughs> yeah. sense. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Dear, dear Judge, this is Morgan Freeman. You may know me for playing God and Bruce Almighty. <laughs> and I think God would let him go. I need yeah. the Maxween. Therefore, let me warn you now. I did a lot of character work with God, and I know what he wants. I was voted as America's favorite God after the played God. <laughs> uh, this guy was on Mad TV. Um, he, he was said, also on SNL yeah, too. Oh, actor. for real? Let's see. He said, "We he has become one of my dearest friends. I know him quite well on both professional and personal level. Brian has to be one of the most well liked people I've ever known." Cool. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. When I found out about Brian um, being arrested, I was shocked. Brian is the last person I would expect to be charged of criminal activities. My first thought was, "This must be a mistake." Cool, nobody cares. I know how many of our mutual friends had similar thoughts. It's just too out of character. I have seen the effects this situation has had on Brian, and I know for a fact that he regrets any mistakes made, and that this is certainly not something he would ever happen again. <laughs> Dude, it <laughs> sounds like an that? accident. Like he accidentally fucking. You just said you were shocked to find out. So how do you? How yeah, can you guarantee really? it won't happen again? Yeah, this is disgusting. I want to know about that judge. Did you guys find anything about him? <laughs> no, I just that he was retired. He's retired. Mm. Oh, hold on, we're having a technical Sorry. issue. Oh, we got a technical issue. Can y'all fix that, or is that like a technical issue? It's a technical issue. Okay, hold okay. on. We got just a little technical issue here. We have some technical issue. It sounds what like. What do we do about it? <laughs> what are we gonna do? About it? I was just lost. I didn't know what you were saying. I had no idea what you were talking about. Yeah, I just, I'm fallen. I bailed. But yeah, I hate this judge. Um, there you go. Josh Peck uh, officially put out a statement because we were talking about the speculation last time of that TikTok you put out. Oh, okay. Drake defended him, said they've talked, they're good. We, we mentioned that last time, but Josh put something out. We should watch it, yeah, just, just to give him a fair shake here. He said, I finished Quiet on Chet documentary. It took a few days to process it. I reached out to Drake privately. I want to give my support for the survivors who are brave enough to share their stories and emotional and physical abuse on Nickelodeon sets with the world. Children should be protected. Reliving this publicly is incredibly difficult, but I hope it can bring healing for the victims and their families as well as necessary change to our industry. Okay? 
That video he made was pretty weird, though. <laughs> Just saying. I agree. A little bizarre. Yeah. So Brian is somewhere in L.A. He's still out there. Eating ice cream and eating McDonald's. And having hot cocoa. Just here being in Los charming Angeles. all day. He's probably, he's probably has so many friends. <laughs> so many friends. He's one of the funniest guys. Yeah. Just making rooms laugh. Brian Peck. One of the most charming, funniest guys you'll ever meet. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I wonder if him and Brian Singer still get together. Because mm. they're both like pretty much canceled yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah, the fact that he's been able to thrive to a certain extent all this time, I hope that this documentary ruins his life. Right. Brian? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Whatever's left to be ruined, I hope that uh, it is. Brian Singer? He's pretty thoroughly canceled. No, not? Brian Peck. Right. Oh. Because but Brian Peck oh, Brian. The really... people in Brian's life that were shocked to find out, I'm sure there are more that, that are going to be shocked by this documentary to find out. I hope that they're not his friend anymore. I'm really... I'm I would really... certainly recommend not associating with him. But yeah, um, wow. That's it. I wanted to know more. We know more. And now we say, uh, Brian Peck and Brian Singer, you scumbags. There's a there's something in the 90s with Brian's. All 90s <laughs> Brian's comes forward, please. 90s Brian. We know. Uh, we know you did it, Brian's, from the 90s. Uh, and shame on you. Brian Dennehy? We know. He, he did it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you think so? I don't know who that is, but he did I don't really it. either. I just Googled 90s Brian stars. Let me see his face. Um... Well, he died a couple years what ago. What about so Brian Cranston? Ill of him. No, he's innocent. Is he's not a 90s nine? Brian. He's older. Well, <laughs> Malcolm in the middle. Started. Malcolm in the Maybe middle. Like no, no, no. Nine. He's older. He's older than Brian Singer and Peck. Right. He's he he's he's one of the good Brian generations. Uh, this uh, uh Brian Dennehy, he was um the sheriff in uh the first Rambo movie. He was um just kind of the bad guy. He was in Cocoon. He was in Gladiator. He did it. Fucking love him. Brian Cranston is 68 for the record. Brian Singer is 58. We're talking uh. We're talking a whole 10 years, man. Something went sour in that 10 year period. That's a 10. There was it was must have been astrology. Mercury must have been <laughs> retrograde. Was in retrograde. That's a 10. Got all these Brian's <laughs> doing crazy shit. <laughs> How about uh, Brian May from Queen? No, he's dope. He's old. He's dope. Yeah, okay, he's Brian fine. Adams. Oh, we love he did Brian. it. We he love did Brian. it. No, no, we love Brian. Me and Lena went to like, Brian. two Brian Adams concerts. Really? Yeah. Okay. Brian uh, Wilson. Yeah, you can sign off. He's good. I was going to say Brian good. Wilson. Yeah, yeah. I'll write him a letter. Brian, Brian Wilson. Wilson is on here. Yeah. Brian Wilson may have done it. <laughs> he may have done it. He may be. Uh, uh, Brian Hoyer. He did it. Wait, player? is it Brian so? with I or Brian with Y? These are all with I. They're both I's. though. Oh. It's Brian Singer and Brian Peck. What it's about, the two different spellings. What about so De Palma? Brian. Yeah. De Palma. Does De Palma have any? He did it. He did. He made Scarface. I'm writing the letter. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> You're writing the letter. Dear Judge. Dick Harry. <laughs> uh, Brian Good Cox. Judge, I am so uh, shocked. To he hear. did it. I know <laughs> I like him, but he did it. I know what uh -huh. he did was a, a little minor mistake, but have you seen the movies? So good. We need to let him out so he can make more movies. Dude, Brian yeah. McKnight, come on. Oh, there's Dennehy. He did it. Brian Blessed. He did it. He did it. Brian Robbins. Oh, he did that shit. I think so. He did it more <laughs> than anyone. So? <laughs> Brian Kendrick. Uh, did it. Brian I need to see their face or faces. Did it. Urlacher. Uh, we're getting a lot of it. sports Brians. Less sports Brians. They Brian all did Jones? it. They need to all come in for Rolling questioning. Jones? Oh, for, he for sure did it. I need a statement from all these Brian's. Brian Eno. Uh, More yeah, like I'm Brian. Oh no, my kids are with him. I think him. Brian Eno is innocent. Uh, I'm gonna stand up for I, Brian Eno. I, I don't Zach's not. He didn't do it. it. <laughs> he's he's a, he's out there. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Brian Ferry. All right, so that's Brian's it. Well, oh, let's let's save the rest of the child abuse combo for Monday. Great. Pin that. Um, there's a Brian in the chat who said, never felt so seen on the podcast. You're from, <laughs> if you're watching this show, you're almost for sure not from the pedal yeah, you generation. Didn't do it. You're, you did not do that shit, bro. Yeah, I would not put that on you. Because you're probably about my age or younger, I would say. Right. So you're one of the good ones. It's now, if you have like a dad. Brian Kavanaugh. Brian Kavanaugh. Have we considered that? Wait. He might be a low-key Brian. Oh my God, he did it. <laughs> he for sure did it. Beta. <laughs> 
Let's see. Uh, Uber driver picks up woman, then his car starts getting shot up in Chicago. This I is this safe to watch? What? Uh, you... There was no, there was no claim on it. I mean, no, like violently. Is it too violent or no? No, I mean, no one gets hurt. There's just shooting at the car. <laughs> okay, so here is an Uber ride in Chicago. I feel Chicago. like this is. Uh, maybe, I, maybe, yeah, I don't know about this one. Sounds pretty I don't dicey. Know about this one, chief. <laughs> the description sounds dicey. Yeah, even if nobody gets shot, just. Somebody getting shot at, I'm pretty sure YouTube would Maybe. be like... You could hear it, but not see it, but yeah. Oh, you can't see it? You can't see it, it's just sound effects. Uh, okay. Okay, here, have we have we watched this yet today? <laughs> we we have, yeah. It's been a long time on it. Remember his blue hair? <laughs> Talked about the blue hair, he's still going! Oh, Zach, did you make it? Were they all do it at the same time for me? I was gonna do it after the show. <laughs> Can we do it before we leave? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna take some time. <laughs> no, because he, he has to line up I the mean, tracks. I'm juggling a lot of things here. I'm gonna lose Dan. You can step away for a minute. Wants to take over for yeah. Because all you got to do is just he look at the wave that. pattern. He wants it. I don't know what to tell you. All right, you, yeah, you, you got mix, audio. I'll mix. Yeah, yeah, right, you got it. yeah. It'll be worth it. It'll all be right. worth it. What's with the black and white? I'll do it. Because it's a dramatic <laughs> moment. I think. It's... <laughs> all right, you got all that. So what do you you want? All of them? Just he wants the crack. All the cracks to line up. Yeah. So uh, just arrange all of those, and then just let the screams all overlap. And but that one's super long. I think that was the longest. Yeah, well, well you just okay. let it ride. Just yeah. Let it ride. Okay. Some will be long. So, some will be short. And true of the beginning too. They don't have to start at the crack. I just want them, the cracks to be synced up. Oh wait, Woofy made it already. Hold on. Woofy's on yeah. there. Oh. <laughs> let's all the wolf. Talk about the Go. Wolf? <laughs> the wolf, dude. Wait, hold. On, let's see what I did. It certainly wasn't the wolf. Thank no, God for the wolf. <laughs> that's just a party. That's like a fun. I'm putting together a team. <laughs> that's that's what you hear in the chiropractor's yeah, office. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> a symphony of moans. Lena worked at a chiropractor office for years. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like that, Lena? Yeah, it did, just like this. <laughs> oh for real? No, no. no. Did, okay. You, did you ever see or hear anything funny? Not like that. <laughs> just typical cracks. Um. <laughs> Oh, a new alpha dude to goof on. That's pretty good. It'll be fun. Oh, which one do you think's better, love? Um, to what catch a predator on kick? See, yeah, more pedo shit. Let's put that on a. Let's <laughs> yeah. put a pin in that. No. Let's talk about a cringe uh, alpha dude. These are always okay. fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Andy Elliott. He's okay. So he's known for his sales training, particularly known for his comprehensive programs and courses aimed at elevating. Sales professional is the top 1%. He's known to me as the dude with the tightest pants known to man. Mm. We've talked about him before right. on the show. He was the I guy who's like, if you about. don't have a six pack, you can't work here. Yeah. Yeah, look how tight his pants are. It's like nuts, dude. He stuffed himself into that thing. Garrett, take your shirt off. Look at him. <laughs> Bro, you're not a serious person. <laughs> no Why are you dressed like my auntie? <laughs> Why are you like, what the fuck are you wearing, man? The ankles. This cannot be. I hate the ankles. Yeah, I Sorry. can't do it. Sorry, Dude, all from, men. Who from that. here down, he is dressed like a like a hot woman, <laughs> or a mime. <laughs> like he's just showing it all off. You know what I mean? <laughs> and now he's gonna humiliate this poor guy who doesn't even look bad, by the way. Garrett, take your shirt off. <laughs> Come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. Take your shirt off, Garrett. By the way. Okay, now hold on. Now Garrett's a killer. Am I right, Garrett? How old are you? 29. Here. <laughs> Does this bother you? Yes, sir. Okay, done bother. By the way, he's in pretty decent shape. <laughs> yeah. Not that bad, you know. Not bad at all, frankly. No, not looks at all. Looks great. He looks phenomenal. You gonna let that dude in sh tights tell you what to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let a man wear pants that tight tell me shit. <laughs> bother you enough? If it did, I you agree. wouldn't have it. Am I right? Yes, sir. I mean it. Now, come on, put your shirt on. You don't need this. You don't need this. Yes, sir. Two sons. Okay. 
This is the last time I want you to take your shirt off in front of a group of people. Never take your be- shirt off. Ever again. No, he, he makes a point, but... Okay, let's this is, see th- th- These people, they're Jack spending their time thinking and doing about the dumbest fucking shit. Yeah. Holy God, this the guy has kids. Time I want you to take your shirt off in front of a group of people and not be in the shape you want your children to be in. What Andy did for me what? is he kept me accountable and he told... Don't like take that. your shirt off unless you're jacked. Disgusting. But he's Unless like, you're jacked like a little child. Like you, I think like you want your babies what? to be. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Why does he want his babies to be so jacked? That was such a weird twist. So weird. I don't think that's what he meant. He meant when they're grown up. Mm-hmm. Still, <laughs> but still, <laughs> this guy is like totally fine too. He's in great shape. I mean, not everybody needs like six packs. Well, you don't sound like a top one percent salesperson. <laughs> in fact, your pants are looking a little loose today, sucker. <laughs> I can't even see the outline of your genitals, so who are you, really? <laughs> told me that I wasn't being my best self. And there's people in this world that can look at that and they can say, Wow, he shouldn't do that to him. This is crazy. He's being mean. Oh, he's being mean. Or you could use that as a resource and you could tap into that limitless potential that you have inside of you and you can become a fucking animal. Our yes. business has 20x last month. I've definitely... <laughs> Thanks to him humiliating me on stage, I have 20x business. <laughs> I've got a whole new wardrobe of tight ass. Like, painted on, man. Jesus. <laughs> you know? So he's a pretty interesting guy. Andy Elliott. Uh, this is the six-pack, or your fired guy. We watched that one. A fo- he has a follow-up speech about having a six-pack or you're fired, so this is a supplemental... Uh, Pep talk. This is after he got <laughs> backlash for it. I'm going to tell you this, my entire company, my entire team, if you don't have a six pack, you don't work for us. <laughs> no, I know. I know. It's called, everybody say standard. How about we raise them? How about we raise them? Oh God. How about we raise them? Raise them to where? How about you guys quit getting f-ing civilized and you guys quit settling? What? You know, there's <laughs> some people in this room that said, uh, Wait, what are we raising it to? <laughs> Not stop being civilized? <laughs> I want y'all to go to jail for a little bit. <laughs> I want y'all to go out and commit felonies. Then we'll talk. Mm-hmm. Wreak havoc, but have a sick bod. Sick. Hey, how about discrimination in the workplace? Yeah. Uh, how about that? <laughs> the hell. I would sue my 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 uh, company if they uh, told me I had to have a six pack. We know you would. That conversation was for the one percenters. That wasn't for you. <laughs> Bro, what does he do? Like, uh, what does he actually do? This because he has a company and he makes this probably sales training. I think that's all he does. I mean, I mean, he probably started in sales. I don't know if he still does. (laughs) Can you imagine just being a woman there? Like, you didn't know what it was, and you're just like (laughs) the one woman. It's just like all these men with painted on pants, and they're all touching each other and feeling each other, (laughs) admiring each other's bodies. All of a sudden, it turns into can I say it turned into fist fest (laughs) (laughs) or no? Mm. You'd be like, where am I? Sure, fish fest is I'm a better cat, vibes. I'm a, I'm a fish out of water. <laughs> I'm a butt plug out of... Bu- eh, whatever. I'm a butt plug out of butt. <laughs> you got a kid? Okay, and how many cars do you average a month? How many do you want to sell? How many do you average? Okay, watch this. What's your name? David. David, what if someone kidnapped your son, David, and they told him they were going to kill him unless you sold 40 cars a month? How many would you sell? I'd probably, yeah, so, okay. If, first of all, this situation is obscenely dumb, but if you're fighting for, like, your child's life, you would lie and cheat and steal and do anything because you want to say, is that, so that's his message? He's like, no, y'all aren't fucking lying and cheating. Like, what the hell are we doing here? That's your message? (laughs) Yeah. Why somebody got to kidnap your kid to sell for you? Because it's you probably Why do things have to get bad <laughs> before you guys really get pissed off and max out? Dude, what a fucking God. psycho. What's this one? Okay, how many cars do you sell a month? 10? Okay, can you sell 40 cars a month? But you're not selling 40 cars a month. If somebody kidnapped your family and oh, said this they is were a gonna... well. Uh, it's the same. This bit. is a well-tested um, technique. Mm-hmm. This is a Gary V type of situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kill him if you didn't sell forty cars. Could you sell forty? 
the child Dude, kidnapped my 40 carbon. on the line, I'd sell 40. You would deliver 40, am I right? I need his back against a wall like that. Someone take this man's child. <laughs> I'm begging you. Well, I've got news for you. Your child's been abducted already. We've, ha we've had someone outside his school this whole time. Get to damn work. <laughs> He's going to be sold into sex trafficking unless you sell 40 cars this month. <laughs> it's horrible. These guys are great. Um, he calls out a dude for being fat. Oof. No. Someone said this is like the opposite of therapy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, oh, this is one we already watched, Davey, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, this is one we watched. Yeah. Um, he calls out a random dude in the crowd for, about his weight again. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't pick on the fatties, man. You come here, white shirt, come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Okay. Do you know it's good to eat clean? Come here, fatty. Are you ripped up? Not even that But fat. you could be. I mean, he's not fat. So you know what to do, but you yeah. don't do it. I love you. I'm your brother. I'll go to war with you. You know what? If you can't control your dieting and you know what's going to happen? You're going to get beat out by somebody who can. You feel me? Am yeah. I telling the truth? Right. But it pisses you off, doesn't it? Good. Get pissed off. Getting pissed off is good for you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he reminds me of that guy from the Point Dynamite, the karate teacher. The, the uh, forget about it. Rex Kondo. Uh, yeah, Rex Kondo. <laughs> um, let's see. Andy, test your sales skills. I was calling to get some information about a vehicle I saw on the website. Okay, which vehicle? Oh, we got an old fart on here. Hello? So how many miles are on it again? 67.6. I think I'm going to look. Ooh, I got an old guy here. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> what is an idiot. <laughs> let's make fun of this Around shit. One with the... Hold on, I, I I got a hotline. Who's we're we're gonna do wire fraud on this old man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to make his, him quit his job, dude. I, I, my partner Jen Shaw is gonna take this call next. <laughs> With a little bit less miles. Alrighty. Well, thanks for calling. Let me know if I can help. Buddy, just like that, you're gonna let me go. <laughs> oh God. I, I, you keep cutting in and out. Well, I told you that I was gonna. That I think it had a little bit too many miles. You heard that, right? I did hear that. Yeah, and then you said, oh. He's like, listen, dude. Do you want the car? I mean, what the fuck? You're lecturing some random dude from Craigslist? This is crazy. And also, the car was He's... like, the guy's probably like, I'll have another buyer in a minute. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. It's kind of right. a... I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's a flex. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he was trying to make a point that went south, and the guy's like, all right, see ya. Yeah, he's Here's like, a... I need a car with less miles. Wait. <laughs> Why'd you call me? So he's punking out an old man who can't hear him. Love you. Jesus Christ. Also, what does he Why want? Do like, he wants a world with all these, like, salespeople that won't let you off the phone. Nope. That's a nightmare. They'll lie to you. Yeah. They'll steal your children. <laughs> I'll kidnap your child unless you buy this car. Okay, and you were going to get off the phone. Were you going to go back and sit down and have a cup of coffee? Well, I was going to. Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, I apologize. I don't have one with less miles. Um, is there anything else that I can help with? <laughs> why, why, why are you put still this on the phone with me? He Th thinks this he's is so such... badass. <laughs> Dude, this, this is bad. such a fail. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I don't know, it makes me think Wait, of Wolf of Wall Street, how Jordan <laughs> Belfort had to keep them on the phone to make the sale. Yeah. But it's not like that. He has to stay on the phone with you because it's, you know... For customer support, like he he's just being polite. Yeah, he's being dude. polite, but also, just, you know, it's, so he doesn't lose his job. He doesn't want to hang up on a customer. Like you're not pulling anything. Well, all the comments are um, clowning on him. Why did he <laughs> post this? Golly, <laughs> they think if you just add the alpha music to anything, then it flies. <laughs> right. And I guess it does, kind of. Uh, Shit. Is are is this a sales prevention line? People Ooh. that are Uber takers go work at Walmart, but people that can influence and persuade learn to close. <laughs> they can get whatever dream they want in life. <laughs> is this okay, don't ever let guy? me catch you being an order taker again, okay? I appreciate you. Okay, I, I want... appreciate your input. Uh, okay, you better. Wow. Good. The next guy that calls, close him, okay? Wow, he sounded like he really, he really got through to it. <laughs> <laughs> he made a difference that day. <laughs> that is fucking nuts, dude. I'd actually like to talk to this guy. <laughs> It could be oh, interesting. Yeah. He's a different kind of personality. Yes. Yeah, he's different oh. than the other alpha bros. You, you, need, you need to have him help sell your channel to the alphas. You need to do a sales course from <laughs> him. See if he'll be down yeah, to do he that. Could, he could teach oh, well, I know what he's, he's just going to say. You need to get Jack, brother. Yeah. True. You need to start lifting weights. <laughs> you need to buy a Lamborghini. Imagine, I think I talking mean, to him would be really interesting. Can mm -hmm. we reach out, uh, Olive? Absolutely, we can. <laughs> I like him. Get him on the phone. Don't let him hang like up. Him. Yeah.
<laughs> Make Fuck. sure he closes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try the Psalms. Wait, I'm gonna try to. I gotta do something to humiliate him like that. <laughs> <laughs> you sold Sebastian a hoodie. True. <laughs> true. So I gotta sell him something too. <laughs> this one's called "Fuck Being Broke." So true. I can make you a millionaire, Fuck dude, broke. and you can also go have a badass life. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but so right name. now you don't have it. You know why you don't have Here's it? what you need to do. Go drop ship stuff from Alibaba on Facebook. <laughs> I'll make you a millionaire overnight. We, have, we haven't checked this one. Just oh. uh, I feel like this song definitely is okay. copyrighted. Right? All right, then. Elliot, that is I, your real name. I included one more that we checked. It says it right on his shirt. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> such a goon, man. Uh, here is some shorts. Yeah. Andy Elliott. Tightest pants in the game. We love that about him. Tremendous. My friends are married. Okay, Whoa. my friends, they take <laughs> what is this outfit? Life. Holy <laughs> smokes. He got some tree trunks. I see why he shows them off. What is this outfit? I want my bros to see my trunks, man. <laughs> his name again? My friends are married. <laughs> Bro. What? Okay, my I can't get over this. Friends, they take <laughs> good care of their wives. Who are my Come friends? On, so crazy. My employees, the people that work with me, they take good care of their we families. We can't focus on what here. you're saying, bro. That's a, that's a standard that we <laughs> yeah, have. Yeah, what? I, have, I actually what? wasn't I listening. I haven't listened to a word. Right, let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> my friends are married. Okay, my friends, they take good care of their wives, so they're not my friends. What? My employees, the people that work with me, they take good care of their families or they don't work here. That's a, that's a standard that we have. What is okay. he saying? Okay. He says, if you're not a good if you're not a good husband or a good dad, then we'll fire you. Okay. Which How is, do you measure a good husband or a good dad, I wonder? I don't think this Can guy has close? employees. Can you sell your wife a car? <laughs> if not. I, I think he's making think all he this up. here. You gotta be closing. I, he doesn't have employees. <laughs> he just does these dumbass speeches. He doesn't have employees. The comments well, are on. funny he, on he's that. The, I see he's the CEO of the Elliott Group. <laughs> That's well, me. So let's see what the Elliott Group does. Uh, uh, Andy Elliott's sales training. I mean, <laughs> somebody said, who's in the audience? I would not take him seriously with those Daisy Dukes on. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. He is a sales trainer. Yeah, he has no employees. Yeah, he sells his bullshit. Um, Yo, Patrick Bet David. If he sold those t shirts and they were customizable for each name, I would right. certainly purchase. You would buy one of those? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd love to walk around with Olivia. Everybody's loving the pants, man. You're killing it on those. There's a comment that says, you're on stage in a pair of boxer shorts and boots with lips in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's interesting. I think he'd be a great call. Yeah. I'm into it. I like him. Permanent co-host. Fuck it. <laughs> he's hired. Your mindset is trash. How much money do you earn a year right now? I don't know. Oh, what? are you seriously going to hit me with like Kanye West, like famous ass song? Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> Charles calls me. Dude, look how his wallet or whatever's in his pocket. It's yeah. insane to me. Like, because he's so, the pants are so small. Yeah. You gotta size up. <laughs> Dude, any type of erection. <laughs> you gotta size up. I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate it. I need to think about it. I understand, but we should come inside. Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> no, no, but I need to think about it. No, I do understand, but if you, you're gonna think about things, right? Okay, all right, come here. Come stand over here. Bro, I want there's, you next. by the way, this whole, this whole gimmick of like, sell me, bro. Yeah, it's like nobody's gonna. It's not how the world works. So many of these guys, I swear, it leads back to Wolf of Wall Street. Sell me this pen. I since their movie came out, the amount of alphas selling shit has gone up some, substantially. I think. Sell me this pen, maybe. All right, uh, write this down. Oh, write this down. I'm an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Without a pen. Boom. Okay. Well, Andy, I hope we can uh, touch base. Love to get to know you. I want to know those thighs. Crush me like a watermelon in those things, man. You seen those? So true. Fuck. Let's get crushed. Turn me into a diamond between those things. <laughs> Crush my algorithm Just, with your thighs. Cu a couple of uh, hi hydraulic compressors right there, boy. Just watch it get crushed. The pressure would be too much. Shit. All right. 
well, I'm very excited for um, for Monday. Uh, the final, the final, final date. date. <laughs> this is me. The anticipation over the weekend is going to be crunching, crushing, and crunching. I got your side. Oh, that I love chiropractors. Oh, Lord. They're really the best. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. We did it all. We did it all. Parents get drunk at the beach and leave their children unsupervised? It wasn't, really. Bless you. It's just like an upsetting video, basically. Sounds fun. I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, nah. All right. Yeah, well, nah. listen, um... I hope you all have a terrific weekend, a fantastic, magical, love-filled weekend. You know, uh, we'll be back on Monday to complete the H, the batch, the H, the H thriller. Very excited. I thought they were terrific. I mean, I really did. Beautiful couple. Yes. Um, what is this, love? Just thought it was a wholesome looking oh, picture. Oh, look at yeah. this. Come on. Come on, man. Look at these <laughs> stuff. <laughs> is love in the air? Definitely is. Come on, man. Come on. Look at this, Hila. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Look at the beautiful couple, huh? Get Big up. It. They're glowing. Mike is always supportive of us ah. on the Mike on the said, Twitter page. Always says, commenting. He does. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. He says, whoa. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> whoa, wait, I want to respond. Whoa! Respond yeah, dude, pod. whoa. Like a, oh, it's from it's a, like a burner. This is like a burner. <laughs> like you write it, I'll just copy it to the podcast account. Yeah, dude, you said it, brother. <laughs> oh, fuck, what's cap like? You are crushing this tweet I can't right now. type. <laughs> you said it, brother. Banger. <clears throat> All right. Is that funny or snarky? Oh. Snarky. Uh, I don't want to be snarky. I already made a comment. Should I remove it? Yeah, remove it. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be snarky. Respond with a heart. Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. With thanks a heart. for following our hit series. Yeah. The Batch <laughs> Thriller. <laughs> Love is more important to us than anything in the world, and we share your care for Jeff and wish the best and most fulfilling relationship to him <laughs> we appreciate your patronage patron patron patronage just guess yeah and um hope you have a love filled love filled weekend and um dink doink is my favorite coin oh you're out of characters <laughs> no. no yeah okay so this yeah no that's snarky yeah. Not this is not snarky. Yeah, with the ding yeah. point is. Yeah, no, I don't want to be. Yeah. I'm adding just... a heart. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice addition. Smart. Yeah. Nice. Okay, the comment is up. Fantastic. So nice to see him involved. There it is. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> mm. I wrote it pretty quick. It might be some typos. <laughs> special. Well, his is full typos too. So. so yeah, have a great weekend, guys. We'll be back on Monday for a special, special vid. So, um, thank you to Megan, who was great. Thank you to Jeff. Thank you to the Hawk for all the lovely treats. Thank you to Anson mm -hmm. for the egg. And um, with that being said, be safe, be good, and just be. Just be. <laughs> be you.